we have just spawned in as Horace Furman, uh, a very unfortunate man who has landed on Hashima Island, which has been given insane zombie populations. Do we have the music turned on before I begin anything else? Yes, we do have the music turned on so we can have some, uh, some good ladies singing in the background. Now, Horace Furman will be going on an adventure today. We have on all of the Brita mods and everything else. Uh, I've just been wanting to explore this and see if we can exterminate all of the, uh, all of the vermin that inhabit uh, this island. Uh, hey, Magnamaniac, thanks very much for the sub. So again, we're here with the, with the Twitch chat. So we're going to be trying to confront these obstacles as best we can. I may die. If I die, I'm just going to keep on going. I'm just going to keep on restarting. But above all else, we want to just play safe. This is like a very high risk, high reward island. Really high zombie pops, but also really good loot. It might take us a minute to sort through it because there's so goddamn much of it. Uh, but it'll be very much, very much worth worthwhile. Now the issue has come up of whether my videos are shit posts. I've I've reached the point where I don't I don't even think that they're shit. They're just regular posts now. They're just what I believe. Therefore, please don't call them shit posts. Just call them regular posts. And if anyone ever uses the word shit, no, I take flattery because I know that you like it. I know that you like things that are shit posts and you like memes. You like memes and you like things that are inappropriate. And that's great and all. But at the same time, too, can't we just live a, a philosophical, a more philosophical existence? Every day, I shit you not, every day when I wake up, I remind myself that stoicism, practiced in everyday life, means that we need to meet confrontation with greater readiness. I, I think I used the word confrontation about 40 times in a row in the last video. That was really one of its major flaws, but I really think that we need to seek more confrontation. We need to s seek more stress and anxiety in our lives so that we can grow accustomed to them and even hardened to them, perhaps. And therefore, that is what we will be trying to do in this Zomboid run. But don't you kind of feel that a little bit in gaming, though, at the same time? What's more philosophical than Spongebob references? True, that's true, Fancy Pickle. Thank you. Thank you for pointing that out, but at the same time, Spongebob sometimes also has great philosophical contributions to be made. Okay, hang on a moment. We're going to avoid running. Live the stoic life. Do you guys do that, though? I mean, I read this blog called Hormesis. The guy is not Hormesis. That would not be appropriate. Um, no, Hormesis. It's a very good blog. You should go look it up. Hang on a second. We need, uh, we need a shotgun. We need a shotgun. I'm dead. Give me anything. Give me any- Ah, oh, crap, I didn't pick it up. Okay. Uh, fortunately. On this island, <laughs> there are other options. <laughs> okay, uh, I did not- See, the thing is that I never really thought about how to get zombies out of a building. It's always much easier, doesn't it seem, to bring zombies into a building than it is to bring them out of one. Bringing them out of one is kind of like trying to get ants out of an anthill. You know, it seems much easier to get ants to run back to their anthill than the other way. Alright, we'll, we'll be having kind of like a dualistic matchup between philosophical shit posting and playing Zomboid throughout most of this stream. That's what I'm gonna gonna go back and forth between. So if you don't like it now, you probably better go find something else to watch. Because that's what it's gonna be today. Uh, easy games are boring. Yes, challenging games force us to confront the stress and anxiety. And this is the reason why it makes our normal everyday life more interesting. Or rather, more... livable. Livable. I had a friend once who, who told me in college that he didn't seek happiness, that he just sought to live out each emotion, like, to its fullest. Like, if you're feeling sad, to, uh, maybe not quite like this, but that he was not always seeking happiness and fulfillment. This was, I don't know whether it's really stoic. I don't think that that is very stoic, but I think that it's very much, like, accepting, and it's in the same vein. Yeah, but Hormesis is a good block. Hang on a second. Hmm. 
Okay, we're going to do the other strategy where we just randomly take everything until we finally have something. Because that seems to be the only other way to confront an island where there are insane zombie populations. At least the only one that I can really think of doing it. Speed running all of the emotions. <laughs> That's one way to put it. I kind of like that way. Mm. Hey, Frazer, how are you, my friend? Thanks very much for the eight months. Mm. It's a Buddhist idea. Well, Buddhism and Stoicism have a lot in common, though. But enough of that. All right, hang on a second. Before we go back into the... We'll wait until we have more grind again. The running at the beginning is a bit of a grind, which is why I go on and on about that kind of thing. But now we've reached kind of a weird lull. If we lead them around here and then we go back in, we might be able to get the guns. We also don't want to tire ourselves out, though. We've got 50 BMG rounds and 45 ACP. 45 ACP is, I believe, a bit more common. But I think that if we just calm down and we just walk, we could probably get in there. Ooh, that's rather a lot. We had trouble on this island because the buildings are so tall, and it's very hard to lose track of them. Hmm. If we make our way back in here, we may be able to get more gun again. Hang on a second. Lose them around the corner, cut out visibility, and we have a, a dull moment. Now, we didn't find any shotguns there a moment ago. Daewoo is pretty good. That takes 5.56. Five, Damn it. Alright, I got an LMG. I got an LMG. Uh, did I actually get a... It does contain a magazine. Okay. I got my first weapon. Ah, frab just day. Okay, hang on a moment. Uh, draw your weapon. Raise your weapon! Ah, uh, yes. Who's, who sang that, Raise Your Weapon? Was that a Dead Mouse song? I'm listening to a lot of Dead Mouse. Hey, you, you folks have been... I've just been trying to better myself lately. Oh, damn. That sounds really great. I really like that. I try to listen to a new album every day. 100 ammo, 100 ammo gonna take some time, that's true. How much do we have in here right now? We have 20. Okay, so a box really didn't contain all that much. Oh, well, damn. Hang on a second. We seem to be doing just dandy, even without even without having really practiced this very much. Reloading level 3, we're already part of the way, too. That's good. I am unbelievably accurate. I'm also desensitized because I just start off with the right traits. It was Dead Mouse. that's right. Oh, fantastic. You know, Dead Mouse used to stream. Does he still? I haven't really checked him out. He's an interesting guy. Um, how should we deal with this? We can get back, get back to the philosophizing soon. Now we're making a lot of noise. I'm surprised that this is really only as many as we're getting with the insane populations. But now that we can draw quite the horde, we should be able to bring them all to us. And we are getting thirsty, just as I guessed. All right, we're going to have to... Hang on a second. We, there's water everywhere. Now, it is safe to drink water from the source. Um, you just gotta make a water drinking noise in real life, and then it'll be, it'll be fine. Police officers is... Way, um, veteran is worth points outside of specific... Uh, police officer, does it give you desensitized, though? That's one of the main reasons why I take veteran, because if you get desensitized, you get your panic down from the beginning. Like, see, I'm being surrounded by zombies right now. And yet I'm not panicking, because I've covered wars, you know? Uh, hang on a moment. This is not too particularly good. Mm, but this is how we want to sort of draw them. The goal today will be to clear out the entire island. And as soon as we get a little bit better at this, we can take down massive hordes. Um, it will take some time, it will take some time, but if we draw them away from that garage, we should be able to get more 5.56 five, rounds. Because it's very easy to identify the box of 5.56 five, rounds. It's orange and large and box-like. So that should be okay. Hey, yeah, Crocs, no socks. Thank you very much. Very grateful for your, for your kindness, my friend. Hang on a second. Mm. Good. He is dead. Uh, there are no bullets left. Alright, don't do anything stupid, just stay mobile. 
Stay mobile. That's the most important part. Nope, nothing there. We just want to give them a little bit of room. Even if we don't get everything. Even if we don't get everything we want. I know that we just passed up some bullets. But there we go. Another box of 556. Five, That's what we needed. Okay, now we have two boxes. Before we had only one. Now it's two. Two is one more than one. All right, fantastic. Okay, we'll spend some time reloading. That'll make us better at it. That's how life works. When you do something, you get better at it. Uh, I think I've got on slightly increased stat allocations or multipliers because I want the game to be more like what it is in multiplayer. Now, loot probably won't be this common in multiplayer because everyone will get to it before me and then take it away and then shoot me with it. That's how multiplayer works. But... I want to be ready for multiplayer. Few people play Zomboid as the really grindy single player experience that we have been knowing for the last year. Just because you're awesome. Oh, God. Damn. Hang on a moment. That's quite a lot of money, Solus. That's quite a lot of money. Hang on, I'm going to I'm going to take a knee for a second. I'm going to take a knee in the game. Uh, crap. Ah, uh, no, I'm just going to pause. Damn. Can you We've had quite a lot of generosity on the stream, but can you can you send me a message, ping me on the Discord, so that I can, I can, say say a real thank, say a real big thank to you, Solus. That that is not merited. I hope that you're not putting yourself at any financial strain, though. But thank you very much. I'm very grateful for that. Mm. Mm. Very. Hmm, wait a second, wait a second. We just leveled up. Bring out the dancing lobsters. Aiming level three. Huzzah, and Zunes. Good. Actually, no, Zunes is a bad thing. We were talking about Shakespeare the, the other day. Do you know about Zunes? Damn. I feel like I didn't make a big... The thing is that I've got to just do a bigger thank. A bigger thank. I, I can't really... There's nothing that I could do in this, unless if there's something that Solus would like me to do right now. Otherwise, I would, I will have to go ahead and, and thank you post stream because I don't really feel like I can do anything to justify that, and I wouldn't want to rush it along. So I will just, I will just have to say I'm going to thank you properly after the stream if you don't mind that. But please make sure that you at me on the Discord. I would, pr I would, pray tell me that. Pray tell me that. Hmm. I leveled up thanks to the journey. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly that. Hmm. Now we've used up a lot of the 556. Five, How much have we used up? Is it 60? Pray to God. No, pr well, pray tell. Isn't that just a, a saying? You can't, can't someone, when usually like when a knight comes to a princess in a medieval story, they'll say like, pray tell, princess. And then he'll say, have something else to say after that. Uh... Well, usually that's how it works. Okay, now we've got another two boxes. Another two boxes. Nothing wrong with that. Um, we want to clear out this side of the island. If we can actually manage to clear out one end, because, I, like I said yesterday, stealth in this game just isn't really plausible. It just doesn't really happen the way that you want it to. Hey, high threat. Thank you very much for the 103 bits. What is my location? Again, so I'll kind of go through our scenario. We're trying to clear out Hashima Island. Hashima Island is very small and manageable. It's one of the great maps of Waldron. It's usually a PvP map, which is why it's so high with gun spawns and loot. Um, I really hope that it's connected to the mainland, because I think it'd be cool if people could come back to Kentucky from like this. But we're gonna see if we could just exterminate all of the zombies on the island. I think that's a cool goal. We haven't had just to take over an entire island goal. And it's very hard to take over a whole city, and you never really feel like you're done, because there's always more. But on an island, it isn't connected to anything else, because that's what an island is. What I consider a melee weapon, for God's sake, unless if I were using we a melee weapon multi-hit. Mainly just because it tires you out. See, working a with a gun is partly like working with leverage. God damn it, it's jammed again. The fun part, though, is that since it's insane populations, uh, it, it will take quite some time for us to get to the end of this group. And we also have on high hunger. Mm -hmm. Use Zapdos on them. Who said use Zapdos? 
You ever go down the YouTube rabbit hole? The other day I was going down the shorts rabbit hole. I've always been... I've never made any shorts because I just didn't think I wanted to. It's not really the type of video I got into YouTube for. But there was one video that I clicked on. Uh, it was a Pokemon size comparison. And I just remembered back to when I was in fifth grade uh, and the teacher showed us a planet size comparison. Uh, the whole class got in trouble because we were just too excited. We got, we started being very inappropriate. Um, it was a great year in fifth grade, though. We had a lot of that. But, um, uh, let's see. But the Pokemon size comparison brought back similar feelings. So I was just, I don't know, reflecting on that. What does this have to do with anything? I just thought it was a fun idea. Pokemon size comparison. My goddamn. Got more of these. But yeah, you do that, though. You know, this isn't really something that I've touched on in videos because it feels very petty. But doesn't it sometimes feel like that day-to-day -day existence nowadays is just a fight against your addiction to social media platforms? I feel like that we all kind of have that problem now. How are we going to combat this in a way that's serious and not just petty? Because it is a serious issue of modern-day society. But how can we talk about it without trivializing it? You know, this is a problem. And I think that right now we have... I, I like Twitch because it's not so in your face in many ways, you know? That's one thing I like about this platform. There's a lot of problems I got, too. But it's but it's a valid point. Sheedon, thanks very much for the prime. Whale Lord, yes. Wh I learned that Whale Lord is the largest Pokemon. But I had to get through a lot of other Pokemon to get to that. Uh, point at the end. I, it seemed kind of obvious at the end. I was like, why didn't I think of that? Did I really need to watch this video? But it was kind of cool also to see whale- but see the fact that I'm going on so much about this when it was something that really didn't have anything to do with my day. And I know it's just a trivial example, but at the same time I'm overusing the word trivial, but you know what I mean. It's, it's a minor example, but it's indicative of a greater trend. Indicative of a greater trend. WhatsApp, these other ones. Yeah, well, WhatsApp, you know, at least you use that with real people. But, you know, when you click on things on Facebook, on Twitter, on... My God, there's getting to be rather a lot of them. Hey, Super Nintendo 64, thanks very much for the prime. Hang on a second. Uh, if we can clear this one fast enough... Five five six. This is not five five six. I think I just missed some five five six right over there. Uh, at least we got it sorted by category. I was not doing that before. And am I dead? Am I dead? Am I dead? I'm not dead. I am not dead. Okay. It, clearly there are a lot of them around here. Mm, I'm getting a little bit. This is this is the test though. Is like, can I, can I withstand these numbers? I found amusement about people using stats and science to prove that Ash Ketchum is strong to an ungodly OP degree. <laughs> but this is kind of like what our what our existence is composed of when we spend so much time online. You know? That's why I'm trying to get down to trying to get down to the good stuff in the videos. Trying to get down to the philosophical bits. You know, your day, my day, filling the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, so to speak. Why don't I pause when I'm looting? Oh. Wait a second. Pertex, that might be the smartest thing I've ever heard. Pertex suggested that I pause the game while looting. I have never thought of that. You are smart. Hang on a second. Yeah, to make it kind of like multiplayer, I suppose. But at the same time, I've never thought of just doing this. And now we can look through the loot as much as we want in note. Jesus Christ. Hang on a second. I might have to... I might have to send you my Squidward. That is really smart. And the 223. I've never thought of this. This might be the greatest exploit since the Walk 2 exploit. What influenced me to make commentary that's so philosophical? I don't really think of it as philosophical commentary, though. I just think of it as commentary. Like, I, I don't find it interesting when things are just on the surface. I hope that that doesn't just ignore the question. Hmm. This, yeah, I know, I feel like my brain was just unsmoothed.
hang on a second. We're going to put this. We're going to take Sam Fisher's night vision goggles because they're kind of badass. Uh, what else are we going to take? We, also, 223 is good. But damn, I'd never thought of doing this. Hang on a moment. Whoa, 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 whoa. He did that way faster than I expected, too. This Pertex... Rumbottom, thank you for giving the gifting the sub to Pertex. Pertex, you have just been promoted to general. Damn. This might be the smartest thing anyone has ever told me. I mean, obviously you can't do it in multiplayer, but... I never thought of this. Wow. Wow. I'm just thinking of all the new things I can do now with this stupid information. It's amazing. Uh, now I need some water. I could even just walk up the stairs. Hmm. Look, I mean, now... And the thing is that I was complaining about this the other day. I was saying that, you know, you couldn't... Uh, like, it's annoying that you have to sort through all of these inventories because it's not like real life. Because in real life, you could just see the thing on the shelf. But this kind of undoes that, I feel like. You are gifted. You are gifted. I know it's not as exciting to watch, so I won't do it the entire time, but I might do it a little. But the thing is that it will lead to more... Ex I just spend so much other time running around. Hang on a second. Okay, let's spend some time over here then. And now we could go over to this. See, now we could see everything at a glance. Waste pouches. I need those. Fanny pack. Um, other night vision goggles. But Sam Fisher's night vision goggles look cooler. So we'll say, we'll say no to that. Uh, oops. Oops. Hang on a moment. Okay, we're gonna convert all of these rounds to, uh, 556. Five, uh, are we dead? Are we dead? No, we're not dead. Well, the other thing, too, is that then you don't have to keep wasting your breath. We just, I promise I won't pause for the entire time, but this might be the most next-level tip I've ever been given. Jesus Christ. Pausing now, starting your candy... Yeah, it means that, you know, we'll spend time managing our inventory when we're paused. Good. Uh, two, two, three round. Transfer to five, five, six. We gotta do this really fast. Uh, I didn't get all of them. Oh, there we go. Okay, now. Now don't insert an empty mag. Insert a regular mag. God damn it. Uh, there we go. Okay, wear this. With the night vision on, okay. I think night vision goggles might have been an unusual item to pick first, but that's fine. <clears throat> Why aren't you reloading this? Five, five, six, there we go. We did it. Taneka, thank you very much for the prime. I've never thought of that. I've been playing this game for 650 hours and I've never thought, that is it. I can't right click, ah. See, what the, the tip that I had always given to people that nobody ever thought of was this thing, where you can walk like this with F1, or you can even run like that if you hold down shift. Uh, that one took me a very long time to figure out, and also that you avoid ruining your clothing when you do that in the woods. But the looting I have never seen. I feel like I'm going to be a much better player now. Fascinating, though. I'm sure that there are a couple of other tips like that that I still have yet to... Uh, to lay my hands on. That means that we can search out new areas, though, too. Rather than just being confined to that one room and then circling it. Mm, this room doesn't look like it's going to contain exactly what I want. Yeah, the more you know. The more you know. Leon Oaks says that my character looks like he has a liberal arts degree. <laughs> Stand back. I'm going to use my degree in liberal arts to break open this door. <laughs> no, literally, I'm going to smash it open with my diploma. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, that is quite, you are quite funny. Uh, hang on a second. Five, five, six. Mm, five, five, six. D uh, did I miss, I skipped over some two, two, three as well. Uh, mm, okay. See? Dexterity. From my liberal arts degree. Hmm. <laughs> In college. Uh, college. That'd be all it would be useful for- oh god. Uh, let's not get into this debate, it makes it- no one is ever happy whenever you fight about college. 
you know. No, I, I, I do have a, a liberal arts degree, unfortunately. Um, uh, well, let's just not talk about that, though. Fairwind Tactical Belt Front. Hmm. Ironically, I'll, I'll say this, is that I, uh, I double majored in college. I studied, uh, I studied English, which everyone thought was a throwaway major. Uh, ironically, uh, in my family, everyone was an English major. So there was like reverse pressure in my family. You had pr uh, pressure to major in English, which was very strange because usually that's seen as like, oh, where did we go wrong, you know? But oddly, uh, it's been the one I've probably used most, at least in my YouTube career. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Ah, good. Ah, good. So don't don't scoff at that. Just don't scoff at those things. You can key bind F1 is pause and ooh. F1 and wait a second. Oh, I see what you did there though. So you key bind so that pause. Oh, that would save a lot of time. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Uh, I have never done this before. Fast forward, pause. If we keybind this so that fast forward. Yep. Uh, Sign so no key, F3. Wow. That's pretty goddamn s crap. Oh, uh, hang on a second. Uh, I, I did that wrong. Uh, I'm just going to keep clicking for a second. Yeah, I could keybind it. That would save me a lot of time. Thank you. Hmm. I'm going to I'm going to stay with the five. Actually, should we get the Yeah, we'll just get shotguns at this point. It's probably going to do us more good. Otherwise, we're just going to be wasting all of this 556 five, ammo. Well, this could make my looting runs much easier. Two points sling, 50 BMG round. Uh, let's see if we can find a North and Wesson. No. Interdynamic. I'll use up the last of what I have with uh, 5.56 five, rounds, but we'll also see if we can see out some water right now. Because I need water. And we will wear that. There we go. Okay, I have a jacket. Fear me. Um. Ah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is what I meant when I said that the island was going to be intense. Uh, let's put on this fanny pack. There we go. T I mean, tactical belt, uh, which is what they are. 50 round, 45 ACP. We don't need that. Okay, we have gotten rid of the weight. Now we need water, uh, or I will die. I have died of no water. Hmm. I didn't accept Oh, I didn't accept the options change. Ah, thank you. Apply and accept. So now if we do F1, we should... Yes, we have paused the game with F1. This is genius. Three months, let's go Ambi Cult. Wow. Hey, thank you very much for the three months, Vexos. Appreciate it. Where is water on this island? I think we have to go up to the second floor. Hmm. Do I... Tr uh, ooh, I'm not here with you in this room. There we go. Okay. Ah, uh, lying. Uh, hang on a second. Why did it have to be an electrician living here, and why couldn't it have been a water salesman? Um. Ah, crap. I gotta get out of here. Ooh, ah, ooh, that was a close shave. That was a close shave. Oh, wow. Ah, uh, I made it. Okay, we've actually had pretty success. We've had pretty success on this first day. Now we're going to go ahead and just open up this box of rounds. Thank God that I had all of those bullets there before. Now, good. Let's do it like a pro. Yes, like a pro. Uh, transfer to 556. Five, if you don't know this, you can change... Oh my God, why does it take this long though? You can change 223 two, rounds to 556 five, rounds by, I don't know, touching them or something like that. I don't know. This is... Are they just interchangeable in real life? Yes, a water salesman. What? You've never heard of a water salesman? Of course. Everyone needs to drink. <laughs> Can you imagine if we had water salesmen instead of just faucets? Ah, ha ha, nya ha ha. Good, I will change all of the rounds. Okay, now I'm feeling the risk set in. 
If we could get them all onto this side of the island and then just eliminate them all and then hopefully keep them off, I'd feel much better. Okay. Skills. I don't think we can do any of that pause menu magic. Aha! We, good, we have it. It's crazy to me that you can't walk and do certain things at once. So, 2, 2, 3, and 5, 5, 6 are, are the, pretty much the same. Water salesman. Have you ever... Yeah, it's like there used to be a knife sharpener. There would be a guy who come, came down the block and he would ring his bell. And he would sharpen the knives on the block. Because apparently there was a time where everyone's knives were just getting really dull. You never... Did you ever experience this? Yeah. We got those here. Usually work on the stoplight in the street. What, a water salesman? All right, sorry. We're getting off of this topic. There will be no more water selling. Just drink it. Just drink it. And why did I also have to go to that faucet? I have plenty of water right here. Now, are we the normal weight to start? We are 80 to start. What else do we have? We have desensitized. I never went over my traits. Illiterate, slow healer, hard of hearing, weak stomach. Basically everything that makes food just a nightmare. But... As long as we eat normally fresh. Uh, I was gonna say clothing, but I meant to say food. Don't eat clothing. That would... We'd probably wind up in the hospital. Well, you probably wind up in the hospital at some point in your life either way, but... I got my personal stuff you know, all straightened sooner. out. Had a job interview yesterday, and I start my full-time oh, job on Thursday. Finally get to use the ah. $1,700 PC I built last year. Feeling hey, generous, Vic. too. Happy to hear it from the other day, too. I remember well. Oh, God bless. Happy to hear that. God, all that ends well. It ends well. Please don't put yourself at any financial need for me, though. Congratulations, though. Uh, nothing like a new PC. My PC is starting to get old now. Very dusty. But there's nothing like a dusty PC, also. You know, I kind of enjoy... Don't you like getting something to run on a computer that you just found the parts at the library or something? Mmm. The sound of levels. Hang on a second. Let's go ahead. I'm going to use this pause trick now. This is very... Winchester. Now, this is 12 day gauge shotgun, but it takes only five rounds. Daewoo K3 LMG. Don't we already have that? Uh, let's take the winch. Actually, we don't really want to load ourselves up. Let's look for some other gear while we're here. Let's see if we can... Yeah, this looks kind of badass, so we're going to wear it. Uh... Ooh, a lady. I mean, a man. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can grab some other stuff. So if we can't right-click A, we can at least bring that into our inventory. What about when we unpause... Now I have waste pouches, nya -ha. Um Ah, this is it, the Spaz-12. Great. Okay, that will suffice as far as shotgun shells are concerned. Um, it could be a dwarf lady, that's true, it could be a dwarf lady. Um, I hadn't thought of that. Those dwarf ladies always Smashing. sneak up on me. God damn it, I didn't actually grab it. Oh, hey, Royale Cheese TV. Thank you very much for the... That is a very large rate. Thank you for the very sizable rate of 50. Damn. Welcome in, Royale... Royale Cheese? Re... All right. I mean, I guess my name begs more questions than yours, so I won't question it. Oh, are you playing? Thanks very much for the raid. Appreciate it. Welcome in, Raiders. Uh, hang on a moment. Hmm... Uh, my pleasure, sir. What, what, what were you playing? How did your stream go? Thanks very much. I appreciate it. Were you playing Zomboid or were you playing something else? Ah, uh, goddammit. Hang on a moment. We've been trying to eliminate all of the zombies from this island. We're just doing stupid challenges because they're kind of fun. Ah, oh, we're doing PZ as well? Oh, fantastic. Yeah, PZ, PZ is coming back into vogue, at least in my book, with the new Brita Armor expansion. We're using the new Brita Armor expansion. I just recently started pronouncing Brita's name right. I was saying Brita before because I was thinking to myself, that couldn't be a water. Uh, this man isn't a water salesman. What a... <laughs> he must have a more upright profession. No, and I believe it is in fact Brita. I was trying to see if there was a way to support Brita in any way though yesterday, but I couldn't find Brita's Patreon, um, which is unfortunate. I don't know if there's any other way that we can support him, so I just gave him thousands and thousands and thousands of channel points, which isn't worth anything, but is still at least something. 
How do we get back to the water selling? The water selling always just conveniently comes back in. Roy liked Pulp Fiction, so Roy... Oh, oh that makes sense. Pulp Fiction is quite good. Hang on a second. The, the music is starting to make me nervous. I'm going to turn off the audio. I just learned about paused looting, which was probably the most next-level tip I've ever been given on Zomboid. This is going to change everything. Let's take the 12-gauge shotgun shells. We can pause the game. Did you know this? This is amazing. I want to share this with everyone I know. Like, you know one of those childish days where you just hear a good joke, and then you tell everyone you know the joke because you think it's so funny? That's where I'm at right now. 12-gauge magazine. Do uh, we don't actually need the magazine for this because it's uh, barrel-fed. Am I saying that right? Barrel-fed? It's barrel-fed. Yeah. Okay. 5.56. Five, we'll take 5.56 five, five, and 12-gauge if I can help it. Uh, Spaz 12 is pretty good. I don't really want to be switching out magazines too much right now. I think that we're fine as is. Mm. Tal Ria says, am I an axolotl? Is that how you say this, this Minecraft monstrosity? I don't know. I haven't played Minecraft in a, in a while. Not that I would judge you. I, I should probably get back into it because it does give me a great deal of nostalgia despite how mainstream it is. You know, sometimes you feel like you can't have nostalgia about things that are mainstream. But that's not necessarily true. Ah, uh, this has a lot of 5.56 ammo. This is, this is actually a heavy amount of ammo. Good. Okay, let's put on the chest rig. Uh, and then we're going to start to load this thing up. Um, I think that isn't finished being spelled. Wear this. We're just trying to look slightly more badass. That's what I'm in the business of. Good, okay. Uh, we have all these pouches on us for God knows what reason. Fairwind tactical belt on the front. What is this? Weight reduction, 80. What, what are our waist pouches at? Uh, 70. Okay, so then these waist pouches are garbage. And we'll wear the tactical belt instead. Sorry, I've got to do a lot of mental gymnastics to get through this. Is, wait, is an axolotl a real creature? <sighs> Various things that I read in chat are going to get me very confused about real animals and not real animals. Probably because I just know an abysmal amount about animals. Fairwind tactical belt front. Okay, so this is fine. Um, now, how do I unencumber myself? Self? Unencumber. I think I did it wrong. I accidentally dropped the right thing. Damn it. And there's a guy right behind me, too. Okay. Uh, let's just reload. We'll just use up the ammo. That's how we'll lighten it up from ourselves? Yes. That's fine. Yeah, getting a backpack would be good. We gotta go back to one of those other buildings and find a, a real backpack. Okay, so there's a lot of people saying that axolotls are real animals. People have them as pets. You know, I've been wanting to save up for this expensive amphibian. That's been my that's been my Patreon goal from the beginning. That it's literally the last Patreon goal is that if I if I reach the final goal, I will buy a large, needlessly expensive reptile. No, I don't want to do that. Please don't make me do that. No, let them live in the wild. In fact, I have lots of new pets that I didn't know that I had now that I uh, live in Florida. Um, it is... It, I, I, there's a lot of that here. I told I told everyone my, uh, my insect story the other day. No one was happy with that, so I'm going to uh, just end that one. No, I, I'm just going to kill that one in the crib. So to speak. Doesn't that seem like a very dark expression? Kill it in the crib. Yeah. A turtle. It's a turtle. Turtle is sort of like an amphibian. It's kind of like ha I know it's not an amphibian. I'm not. I'm not stupid. I know science. No, it is a reptile. Mm. Very good. Yes, turtles are reptiles. Now let's uh, get on with our lives. We can get more water from here. I pretty much meant for much of this to just be shooting. I suppose that the only way to really up the ante here would be to. Um, turtles that- Oh, no, you could have a turtle and have it be happy. I didn't mean to judge you that way. I just know that I do a very bad job caring for animals. When I'm completely on my own. So that's why I don't have one. That's why I don't have one. I would like- if I were gonna get a pet, I might get a cat. I think it'd be nice to have a cat rubbing up against my leg. Yeah, that'd be nice. Hmm. Building. 
has food sometimes. Oh, and why have we not turned on our night vision? Let's see if we have a bit a battery. Mm, battery. Food. My God, this entire building is an enormous. Is an enormous wow. 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 Katana. Very nice. Very nice. I will use that. I will wear this hunting vest. This is the kind of loot that we want more of in Zomboid. Can we have Hashima Island everywhere? Bars, Gorka jacket. I believe I have this on, right? Yeah, I don't I don't think I need that. Uh, yeah, I have Bars, Gorka jacket. This is quite badass. Hmm. Hmm. Get reptiles. I suppose it would be thematic for the channel if I if I had a pet frog. But there have just been so many pet frog memes that I've enjoyed. But I could take pictures of them and create new memes. And I think I would I think I would love this animal. I might you might not have any more vi the main reason is that no, I, I would take very good care of it. But you might not get videos anymore if I if I had a pet animal because I might spend too much time with that animal. And not with you anymore. I went and I got some Warhammer this week. I haven't had any Warhammer since I was like uh, 12. And let me tell you, it was very exciting. I was very glad to have Warhammer back in my life. Weight reduction, 90. Capacity, 8. Wait, is this one better than this one? Uh, there are about... Wait, this one is slightly lighter than this. There are all of these subtle differences between these. Wow, okay, I'm gonna just throw this on the ground. I know it has WD-40 in it, but there's tons and tons of WD-40 everywhere around here. Uh, I will, I, I think we'll be okay. This is like quite objectively good gear. Um, and it and it looks cool. There's a lot of gear in this game that is good, but doesn't look cool. So it, it kind of like uh, hits that trio or whatever I want to say. Hmm. But yeah, no, so I've, I've spent less time making videos and more time assembling Warhammer. That is to say, I've spent a lot of time making videos, but, uh... But I, I don't know, I just found it very relaxing to play Warhammer again. Not really even play it, just, like, do all of the modeling and assembling. It, it just kind of brings me back to my childhood. And anything that brings you back to the nostalgia of your childhood is usually good. Hmm. Where is food? I think we made food uncommon when we created this island, so there is that challenge to be had there. Um, hmm, Sam Fisher's... Okay, so we can turn this on. Now, what is this? This is night vision. Uh, we discovered it yesterday, and we just have been using it badly. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it on full power. We'll see if we can find a screwdriver in the night with the remaining night vision. We have a hand torch. Okay, that could be useful. Uh, if we can find a value tech radio, this is good. We just need a screwdriver now. Come on, screwdriver. Might end up using that pause thing for more, just because we don't want to wear down our exhaustion and all of this. Uh, not a screwdriver, not a screwdriver, not a screwdriver, not a screwdriver. I don't really want to go to the deeper boxes, but I'm just a quick glance shows no screwdriver. Okay, drink out of that. Yes, I trust that stagnant water in the warehouse. That seems fine. Hey, Blackout4171, thank you very much for the prime. Mm, this building appears to be under construction. Mm. Can you imagine, like, a PvP only? Like, there's no zombies in it? Zomboid? Zomboid could be so easily made into a game just like Tarkov. Something like that. You know, you spawn in. Well, not like Tarkov in all of its systems. Tarkov is a different animal entirely. But imagine just getting rid of all the zombies. Making the map smaller. It's neat. Hmm. What is this? Is this a supermarket? And why am I using my gun? Probably attracting more. There be little food on this island. There do be little food being kind of careless with this, but I, I don't really have to be careful about ammo anymore. We just have so goddamn much of it. Oops. Jammed. Maybe I should have gotten that WD-40 again. Hey, cool friend Billy. Thanks very much for the 100 bits. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, ha, ha. Okay, uh, jam again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, escape from Zombarvav. Something like... Why are... Oh, they are all right next to me. Wait a second. I don't know about you, but just having night vision in the game makes it, like, five times more badass. I, I don't know why this wasn't included. But the next thing that I would ask for would be thermal vision. I wonder if that can exist. It seems like that would be much harder to implement, though, because it seems like... Night vision is just, like, one adjustment layer over the entire screen, you know what I mean? Like, all of the lights turn to greens, and all of the darks get lighter. It decreases the contrast in the colors. But I feel like that if you had thermal vision, that would be harder to implement, right? Do zombies still have body heat? This would be kind of an existential question if they did have that mod. I think they don't according to Max Brooks's survival guide, or zombie survival guide, but I suppose that they would have a little bit more heat than the area around them, because they've been moving around. These are the big questions we get into. Hmm. But yeah, I think that'd be pretty neat if they did have that in there. Or if somebody tried to make this mod. I mean, I'm excited. All of the mods work together pretty well. It's, it's very much like RimWorld in its modding system in that... Things can be added and who deleted like Lego blocks. Chocolate. Okay, just my luck. Uh, crap. Not a great time to get the junk gun jammed. Should probably have a ooh ooh ooh. Okay. Ooh, that was kind of close. Didn't really count on having the gun jammed. What I need is a decent sidearm. If I could keep my katana on my side belt, that would be ideal. But as it stands right now, I couldn't. Hmm. Aha, nice. Okay. See if we can take out this area, because clearly we did find a housing complex which has some more food in it. Hmm. Good. Okay, another jam. Man, we're really going to need some WD-40 for this. Did we actually manage to pick up that... We did not pick up the, uh, what is it, the shotgun before. We have to go back and get that. There's a Spaz-12 back there with my name on it, waiting. How much time do we have left in this night as well? We're going to need... It's funny, we found night vision goggles, but no watch. Mm, I should probably check a corpse. Sometimes you can actually spot one with a watch on it. And then take that watch. Do you have a watch? Do you have... How many people have I murdered to, to get a watch? Oh, God, my night, dude, my night vision is now out again. But still, we haven't gotten tired. We haven't gotten exhausted. Was that even due to one of our traits? We don't actually even have those traits on. But our aiming and reloading has really gone up. I think this might even be a bit too high for the multiplayer. Multiplayer servers are on a multiplier usually, but... Maybe not by quite this much. Alright. There goes another one. But yeah, no panic is set in at all. Desensitized is great. Ooh. Jesus. After watching most of my videos, probably Tinny, Timmy Turner's dad. Thank you very much, Tenazil. <laughs> I, I can't remember any memorable lines of Timmy Turner's dad. A lot of people say Dexter's dad. Or people will just compare my voice to various things. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I don't really remember what Dexter's dad sounded like, to be honest with you. Mm. None of this. Uh, Daewoo... Ah, here we go. Uh, needs a magazine, though. Ah, that's kind of grimy, though. We don't... We don't want that. Deval 2 A2 laser device. Man, this is starting to remind me of, like, it seems like getting into a gun hobby is almost as, or probably worse, in terms of all of the different designations that you need to learn, as, like, buying a guitar. I've been looking for a new guitar lately, because there's some stuff that I just can't really play, and I want to play. Um, what was I saying? But anyway, yeah. Um, so the guitar's... What are your thoughts on Jacksons and Schecters? Because that's what I've been looking at. I like a Schecter. But I've been trying to... I've been, any time that I'm not making a video, I just try to go out to either Target or, you know, Guitar Center. 
Just, just like weird hobbies. Weird hobbies I've been looking at. Anyway, I wanted to consult you on that. Ever consider reading books for Audible? No, but I like reading. We gotta get, we gotta make an AA book club or something. That'll be the other channel, just book reviews. Book reviews, something, something to avoid gaming, you know? Do something different every now and then. Lots of good authors, though. Lots of good authors out there. Okay, I think we've pretty much cleared out this building. I wonder if my noise radius is limited to this. Ooh, we gotta be careful this close to the door. Uh, good, 33. This is probably making a lot of noise. Oh, this is making even more noise than I had given it credit for. We can't... Oh, we can remove the battery from this. Great. Okay, even without, uh, whatever it is. The spatula. We don't even need a spatula to get that out of there. Sam Fisher's night vision goggles remove battery and... Is the battery with nothing... This one has no juice. So is a battery... A juiceless battery, is that... Is that useless to me? Can we... As far as I know, there isn't any way to recharge that good battery. We also need a way of turning on the night vision goggles without right-clicking them. That would be very nice. Uh, in fact, is there a way to do it? Key bindings. Maybe there is, and I just don't know it. Book reviews with it. Wait, is this... Uh, hang on a second. Dried battery. Hot keys. Hot bar. Equip turn on off lights. Ah, uh, wait a minute. That's for the normal game. Hmm. Rack firearm. Maybe this is from the combat. Orange to reduce the battery. Push to talk. Let's try F. That's normally for a flashlight, but it no, it does not change for this. That stinks. Okay. I am sorry. It'd be nice if you had another hot, uh, hot bar button so that you could turn on or off your night vision. I don't know why more folks haven't discovered this night vision yet. I think it was I mean, it wasn't even the first person to cover it. I just haven't seen it in so many things. It seems really cool, though. Practically makes it into a whole different game. Now, we are going to need to... Whoops, uh, I rebound my all my controls. Hmm. Drink. We do need to find somewhere to sleep tonight, because if we don't sleep, we'll be very upset. But we do have coffee as well. We could be in unhappy instead of sleeping. Yep, there comes the tiredness. Fortunately, I can just dr uh, eat an entire thing of coffee. Uh, I could find a cup, too. No, I think I'd rather just eat the coffee. Yeah, that'll work just as well. I love you back. Thank you very much for the, uh, thank you very much for the three months, Volkag. Has it been only three months? Probably double A battery. No, alas. Yeah, I mean, IRL. I'm not charging back up my batteries. Even if there is some kind of, like, satanic ritual I can use to recharge the batteries. <laughs> oh, God. Isn't that what... Isn't that what... I, I have no idea what I'm... I'm just being stupid. Uh... Damn it. I don't know why I'm looking for a car, really, but I, just the more things I have, the better. For right now. Open. Ah, good. You just need to tell the car doors to open, and then they'll open. Unfortunately, this car is nothing. Hmm. I feel like we should have better... Mm. To be unclean, that like is the mark of the mutant. Better, what is to this? be impure, that is the mark of the mutant. To be abhorred, that is the mark of the mutant. To be it's reviled, like, uh, that is the mark of the mutant. Mm, me thinks hunted, Triple that G that this is like a 40k quote. Purged, that is the fate of the mutant. To be cleansed for that is the fate. That's either wow. That was so much that TTS actually cut off. You uh, you have my uh, you have my applause. Congratulations. Um, what is that? Is that a Men in Black quote? Yeah, I feel like that's a... It's either Men in Black or it's something that they make the Space Marines recite. Hmm. I don't know, just the fact that I've been getting... Oh, uh, digital watch. There we go. Okay, nice. Got a digital watch. I got a badass hat. Watch out. Am I able to keep on my headset at the same time? Did I even have a headset? Okay, well, we'll wear the double holster. That's kind of badass. 
Um, 12 gauge. Actually, we have three holsters. I don't know why we don't get that visible because right now there's no point. I have on a. Don't I have on a tactical? Maybe I don't. I stand corrected. Okay. Um. Ooh, we are running out of ammo. That is bad. Hang on a moment. Let's go get more ammo. That was actually the reason why I took Latin when I was in high school. I, uh, I wanted to read the things that were in the Space Marines Codex, and they were all in Latin. And I was just like, well, I think I'll take a language for that. I got no other reason to learn a language. So it was a very geeky reason to learn a language. Uh, that led to four years of suffering, which is what Latin is. Um, but Latin is also, it is very interesting language. Um, and by that I mean dead language. <laughs> No, but uh, folks always come in wondering, like, where did all the quotes come from and everything like that? And it's like, well, when I was a boy, I made the mistake of taking Latin. But if you're of that age, or if you are going into college, or you're in college, or of that, you know, uh, area in life, you might as well take it if you are, have no other reason to learn a language. It's very interesting. Um, uh, here we go. Oh, whoops. Shotgun shells. There we go, nice. This is looking quite badass again. I'm looking kind of like, uh, you guys watch Sheriff Eli ever? Sheriff Eli is a very... He, he probably has the coolest voice I've ever heard. Just, like, the man sounds like a character in a movie. It's, it's amazing. It is amazing. You'd probably be a great doc- I'll be a good doctor now. Oh yeah, because you can identify everything with, what is it, uh... Uh, that's, that is true, like all of the different anatomical parts you can do in, in, in Latin. Lateral. Yeah, you could break down root, word roots pretty well. Did it help me on the SAT when I was a kid? No, because I couldn't think that fast. Um, which was problematic if you wanted to do well on the SAT. Mm, forced to learn Latin in Catholic school, not to... Oh, well, if you're forced to learn... Well, the thing that was funny was that when I was a kid, I went to, uh... It was like an all-boys high school. So we were just all suffering in Latin class. Um, <laughs> it kind of became this game of like, who's gonna get screwed the most today? Because our teacher was kind of like, it always felt like he was out to get us. <laughs> Which kind of made it more fun and like, uh, dangerous feeling. You know, you ever have a class like that in, when you were in high, I think high school is an impression, uh, a particularly impressionable time of life for that type of thing. <laughs> Uh, hang on a second. Oh, this is very good UI here, actually. They did show me more visibly that the alarm is engaged. Uh, hang on a second. No alarm. That's good. That won't sneak up on me anymore. Is my night vision getting worse, or is it just me? Seems like it's getting kind of distracting. Oh, well. Nonetheless, we will continue with this. Ah, and pants. I've been looking for pants. Autumn camo. Summer camo. Wait a second. Let's... Uh, let's see what they both look like. It's getting to be daylight soon. Uh, let's turn off Sam Fisher's night vision goggles. Okay. Yeah, I would prefer those to jeans. Try the summer camo. It's a little bit too much, though, don't you think? Let's try both autumn camos. Matching. Yeah. Pog. Very matching. To be honest with you, I kind of like the jeans a little bit better, but let's try it, just for the sake of doing more of Rita's armor stuff. Mm. Download and play PZ on this... Actually, PZ, on that topic... PZ is a game that I hope can still run, on, run well on low-res computers. Because one of the reasons why I picked it for my channel was because it could run on a MacBook Air. Does it still run decently on a MacBook Air? If anybody has, like, a... I don't know, like a, like a Mac for college or something like that that they use. That was what I would do. I would come home from work and I would play uh, Don't Starve, Neo Scavenger, and Tomboy. Trying to get back in touch with those games that kind of drove me at the beginning of the indie boon. The indie boon, baby. We want this still. Uh, we're going to have to e eat this coffee, unfortunately. I'd rather be unhappy than be tired. Tired is never a good thing. 
Or he's gonna have to find a book. I think it'll be easier to find a book and some water. Than it will be to find a bed. Okay. There are books upstairs. I look like the... You know the ranger for... The forest ranger bear? Kind of looking like that. My god, this is not actually books up here. But in fact, it's... Ammunition. It might be really difficult to find... Books on this island. To make myself less unhappy. But I also shouldn't get so much unhappiness because I'm running around outside and just being very active in general right now, which should combat the unhappiness. Whoops. I switched around some of my controls. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. Agua. What do they call- The problem with Latin is that since you never use it, you forget the word for everything. I, I, f I literally forget the word for water right now. I remember the word for, like, philosophy, but I don't remember the word for water. I can remember farmer. All of the concepts that you learn are very, like, high and philosophical, but you don't learn everyday words. Like, I don't know how to say banana. I'm not even sure that they had a word for banana. Did they have bananas back in- They must have had them. If they had philosophy, right? Yeah, lots of problems. Lots of problems. I believe that the Pope is still like, officially allowed to make words. Something like that. Aqua, agua. Agua's span is it's it's usually similar though. But it does make learning romance languages easier if you want to. Uh quite a lot easier actually. I wanna have a satchel. Uh Misto, thank you very much for the prize. Appreciate it, my friend. I think we're gonna get through all of the zombies on this island well before we- Oh, why am I sick? Oh, probably because I had a... weak stomach. I'm not sure if that made downing that entire thing of coffee harder. Is this gonna be the kind of sickness that gets worse and worse? In which case, we should get over to the medical ward. Which, thankfully, there is one on this island. We will head over there now. Because otherwise I may be dead. Open sesame. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> hey, thank you very much, Infern Dragon, for the for the four months. That is quite a lot of time. Mm, not in Europe, I know. Uh, how scuffed is my character? Oh, he's he's pretty much like somebody out of Stalker, except for the Ranger hat. I feel like we need a good gas mask to do that. Uh, let's see. Are you still alive? Why am I seeing your? The silhouette of your corpse there. Well, regardless, this fog should be decent to move around in. And are we getting any better? We haven't really done any sneaking. Not that we've needed to. But let's see what's in these medical... Medical crates. Uh, I don't really want to take you out. Like this. So let's just... We're going to Uma Thurman. Yeah, good. Mm, no, no. No, maybe there's really no medicine on this island. That would be quite upsetting. Unless if I break down the door with a katana. Uh, before we do that, did she have a house key on her? Yeah, she did. Okay, now, everything is called a house key in this game. I don't care what it is, it's a house. But apparently it was not this house that she lived in. Uh, for God's sake, please tell me that a katana will work with this. Believe a katana can- Why did it take me two swings? Damn it. Katana is pretty strong. I'm not sure if it has better bashing or something like that. Could I purge the- Yes, that's what we're doing. We're trying to purge the island right now. Kind of badass. I still haven't found those pants, though. The ones that I- Like, this backpack is quite badass. It even has the- What is it? Like, the molly pack straps- or that Molly system, or Alice pack, or whatever it is. I don't know. Whatever they call them. Yes! I was just about to give up, too. Uh, let's see. Bandages. I believe we need... Hospital gown and surgical gloves. I'm not even sure I've seen those. Oh, what do we need? Antibiotics. Fights infections. Can uh, wh what do we need? When you're sick, don't you just take antibiotics? So rarely do I have this condition, because I usually just avoid it. Oh, I'm not even... I'm not even sick anymore. Well, we'll take one. Is it antibiotics? Hmm. 
That bits in I can't fake. Uh, yes, Violet. Thank you very much. Take out the key from the ah, I had the key in my backpack. Hang on a moment. That was pretty stupid of me. Be nice if your character just did some of those things automatically. Like, uh, there's another example. Mm, what is that other example? Tweezers. I'll also take. There are tweezers. Do tweezers even? Do they even anymore? Suture needle. Fortunately, we have access to all of this now if we need it. Um, dampness, unpleasantly hot. Let's see if we can secure for ourselves a place to sleep. I'll try to get through the rest of this building with only the katana and not make a lot of noise. Maybe I'll even pile up beds on the bottom floor. <laughs> Could always sleep in one of these safe hospital beds, but are there any doors on this entire island? Why is it that in, like, every remaining area of... Soviet Russia, it's... I mean, that's what this place looks like. What is that? Why is it that there are no doors? Like someone just bashed in all of the doors. Disrespectful. Mm. It appears as if this place is completely vacant now. Drink. Water, yeah, well... Oh, lemongrass, lemongrass. Sleeping it off. Yeah, I just feel like that I so rarely deal with the sick condition. It's usually either get away from dead bodies, that you can die from being sick, which is quite sad. I mean, in real life and in the game. Hopefully you won't. I mean, eventually you'll die, somehow. But it's worse to die from being sick, you know? Rather just die of old. Rather just die of old. Now, this is actually quite a nice area. Like they renovated it or something. Oh, look at all of this crap. That is kind of nice. Oh, lunchbox. All right, this might be my home. Wow, so many homey objects to remind me of, yes, home. Uh, oh, this has nice stuff too. I didn't even need to take down that door. I know this for multiplayer. This is kind of an important map to know for multiplayer because this is usually a PvP area. And it is quite well equipped too. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, this will be the chair in which I sleep. Uh, actually, the bed quality is bad, so I'll, yeah, I'll go down a floor. Can I sleep in one of the... Yes, I can sleep in one of those things. Is this a good quality bed? Yeah, this is a good quality bed. That's nice. Oh, damn! I got the litter. When do we get to hear meows on stream? Plus, might help with your crawly issue. I, uh, I, I do appreciate that. Yes, I saw. Uh, no, I have seen only one, I have seen only one cockroach since I moved into this short-term apartment. But thank you, thank you very much, Violet Moon. I, I do appreciate the 2,000 bits. <laughs> when do you get to hear meows again? Oh, no, my cat is, uh, my cat is, is, uh, is back, he's back in New York, so. Um, he's not with me anymore. Though I would like a cat. I, I did have a chance to stay with my friend who had a cat. He and his wife, uh, had a cat. They were over in North Carolina, so it did remind me of home. It did remind me of home. <clears throat> metalworking is essential for this map. Metalworking? We rarely grind up the metalworking tea. That is a very generous donation also. Thank you very much, Violet Moon Project, for the 2,000 bits. I do. I am very grateful for that. But as far as that goes, you know, folks told me that whenever you see a roach, it's it means that there are a lot more. I have been blessed that I have seen only one in two and a half weeks. Um, I do fear for my life, but I'm getting out of here in about 10 days, so my internet connection will be back to normal. Huzzah! Uh, actually, the bitrate on this stream is a bit lower than usual because I've uh, had to kind of squish it down just to meet cable requirements. But the next place I'll be moving to is much better. Ooh! Police! How were they all just content to be in there? God, I just kicked a hornet's nest. I can't believe I slept right next to all of that stuff. That was a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, that place was literally full of shit. Mmm, very... Why am I doing this all immediately next to my current house? Well, all of my meads, uh, needs are met. <laughs> meads are net. <laughs> Are there any... The, the problem with this map is the way that the cutaways work, though, too. Oh, God, look at this. It's so very climactic. They're all falling down from the t ceiling or uh, balconies, whatever the those things are. 
damn it. They're gonna be at the hospital now, though, too. Let's just meet them here. Hold the line. The good part about this thing is that you can always just load in more shells when you're not shooting. It becomes like this continuous god, my, my word. These are, the, this is the kind of map that I live for though. Look at all of the verticality, it's so very satisfying. Mm. Oh god, yeah, I don't, I don't like this though. Multiple streams of them coming in. Is our aim at least improving? When you get good enough aim, you can kill like five with one single shotgun attack. I mean, level six. All right. The thing is that usually stats, like I said, are buffed in their multipliers in multiplayer, but it's usually kind of hard to find this much loot. I mean, most servers have on loot respawn. If they don't have on any loot respawn, then they probably got to be resetting the server like once a week. I'll also say this, it's going to be interesting what happens when multiplayer is eventually released. I used to run a server, uh, I did it through a website that will not be named. Um, some of them are good, some of them are bad, because some of them, I suspect, aren't very straightforward with you with how much memory they allocate. So my best bet was finding a dedicated... I don't even really remember what they call these things. It's been so long, I was very good with it. But it was like getting a degree in IT to run one of these things. A major headache, but I'm hoping that there'll be enough room for players on all the servers when there are servers. But there's bound to be other folks who will want to set up their own as well. Because it's very exciting. Hmm. Not getting what I need? Okay, I need to go back and find more weapons and ammo. Uh, we may need to go up to that second floor, but I just kind of kicked a hornet's nest. Fortunately, I think that this entire side of the island is pretty much done. Alright, but we will, uh, let's head back in here and get some more books, which is what these are. Mm, four gauge shotguns. So rarely do I see those shells anywhere. Hmm. Uh, it is getting kind of unsafe to be in here. I'm going to leave. May need to switch over to another weapon in a couple of seconds. Yeah, I don't think that we're going to find what we need anymore. Um, <laughs> we've also been looking for a screwdriver if one of those would appear miraculously in the next few minutes. But I, I do not think that that is meant to be. Yes, these books are very metallic and round. Dedicate Yes, a dedicated server. Thank you. That was what I was looking for. Anyway, having a dedicated server is much better than... I mean, at least in my opinion, than do it. It's more expensive, but it's also just much more reliable than anything that you do through. Though, granted, there are certain sites that are better than others. I don't really know. I tried out a couple, but I, I just overall had a pretty terrible experience, unfortunately. A lot of folks have asked, and I will just kind of say this again to keep putting this out there. A lot of folks if I have asked if I'll ever launch one. Um, I have no plans to ever launch one again. I did run one a few years ago for a while. Um, and not because I hate it or anything like that, but just because I can't do the moderation. And it also becomes like kind of a full-time job. And a lot of people will just complain all the time. Uh, not really a lot of people, but just a few really vocal people that I can't really take the headache from. Um, because there are some just very mean people out there <laughs> um, who kind of ruin it for everyone. But that is all to say that the people who do run the Zomboid servers, like, there are certain dedicated ones. Red Boyd. Uh, Red Boyd is the only one that really comes to mind because it just has such a distinctive name. Um, there are other ones, though. But they, God bless them. They are very good people. Mm, we have 308 Box Magazine. Do we have anything that takes 308? Please tell me that we have some. 308 is... We do have a Dragonov. Ah, uh, M240B machine gun, I was going to say. I didn't think that a sniper rifle would take a hundred rounds. Yeah, that, that would be kind of ridiculous. Um, there's just so many weapon parts in this. And we are way over encumbered. Uh, don't throw down the M240B. Let's put this bandage in my backpack. Let's put the WD-40 in my backpack. Let's put the katana also in there, which I can't put down because I'm fat. 
Uh, 12 gauge carrier. Okay, we are back down to a more acceptable weight now. And let's put the... I don't want to drop the Spaz 12, so let's just throw that in my backpack. And good. Is it in there? I think I'm good. Attach that to my back. And now put the tweezers into... This is very delicate. We have that other one on me too. Spaz 12. Daewoo, uh, let's throw down the LMG just because I don't put it down here. So, oh god, for God's sake. Throw down the LMG. Let's get some distance. There we go. Much better. Is this the save of the island? We're actually on Hashima Island now. So we're trying out... I'm imagining that Hashima Island might be one of the next challenges. We did uh, King's Mouth Island, which was a very good island, mind you. Uh, but I, I'm always kind of on to the next project. As soon as I finish the last video, I'm I'm on to whatever's next. Um, but complaining... Yes, complaining is a lot of fun. What was I complaining about again? Complaining is just very nice. Now, I did have an issue recently that made me just... Wild. Wild. We won't, we won't touch on that, though. Hey, Mark. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Mm. Ah, this is very accurate. Except when it's not hitting the one right... There we go. Still not quite as good as the shotgun, but if it has 100 rounds in a magazine, I'm willing to... Oh, ooh, ooh. There was one on me. <laughs> That happens when you get carried away. I was having such a good time. Are there any around? You should always do that. This is why it's always good to have friends with you in the game. But I haven't been allowed to have friends in two years since they came out with a multiplayer. Just enjoying this now. Just be belligerent, for God's sake. Yeah, that was almost an F moment. Do I script my videos or do I come up with all the quotes? Uh, sometimes I'll write it out. But a lot of the times it's kind of in the moment. It's a combination of stuff. kind of want it to feel like a reflective essay on something I just did, you know? That's kind of the feel that I'm going for with the videos. So I, I suppose that the fact that you don't know whether it's scripted or done in the moment is actually a good thing. You know, I, I don't want you to know. Sometimes I will... Uh, no, I don't really want to break the illusion. I'll keep this little bit of it from me a secret. <laughs> what was wrong with that gentleman's face? Hang on a second. Someone, someone is trying to sell me something. Uh, okay. I'm much better. How much do we have? We have six rounds left. Uh, why did I use all of them? Just kind of for the satisfaction of using all of them. 308 box magazine. Alright, so now we just need more 308, but having a magazine that takes 100 rounds is fairly overpowered. Am I at the corner of the map, or is that a Oh, the entire map is pretty much just like one, one small island. Yeah, it's usually, that's true, it's not usually the hordes, anything that you can see. It's always some stupid thing that kills you in this game, though. I hate how stupid most of my deaths are. Like, not looking for one second and I die. 308 win, this is it. Yep. Take some of that, and... Like, groceries now. That's right, it's like groceries. A 308 win... 308 win. What does win stand for? What does win stand for? Mm. Ah, Winchester. Thank you. I forgot about that one. Okay, there we go. More 308 Winchester. Oh, that was a lot of them. Mm, uh, mm, no. Mm, no. 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 Hmm. Okay, five boxes. How many are... Okay, perfect. That's enough for one more entirely full box mag. My god, these box mags are just so good. They at least make the drum mags slightly less powerful because the drum mags were way out of proportion. Though, the fact that you can get a 40-round shotgun magazine means you could probably kill about 200 zombies with that amount. 
But you could still kind of do it with this, you know, assuming that you get decent bullet penetration. How many have we killed so far here? And I believe it all has been with with this, right? Killed 613. That's quite good timing. Remember back to that 10,000 zombies stream I tried to do a while back? If you don't know about this, I tried to kill 10,000 zombies in a stream a while back. It didn't work. I think I got about, what was it, 500? 500 in like five hours? But it was entirely vanilla, which was quite good for the amount of time. You might be able to do it with this mod. Maybe we'll try to go for that record again. Mm. 7.62 down there. 204. Oh, yeah, I could go back to the 7.62. Oh, wait a second. 5.56. Five, right, I could walk out of my house, dodge the gators, and find one of those. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, what I've really been looking for now that I've uh, now that I've moved to Florida is a good piece of key lime pie. But this is seems somewhat blaringly obvious now. Um, supposedly, you need to go to the Keys to find key lime pie. I just assumed that it was just a lime thing, but apparently they need to be key lime. So that was uh, a little upsetting because I'm not quite near the Keys. The Keys are quite far away from everything else. But I'm going to need to get down there at some point. It's almost like going to another country to go all the way down there. Hang on, give me one second. I have to just check something really quick. I'm just going to pause the game. Uh, phone? Stop. Stop, phone. Okay, good. All right, good thing. Good things happened. Take the shotgun ammo. It crosses the point of the absurd what I can get in America regarding guns. Oh, no, I mean, I just learned all about guns when I visited. My buddy's, uh, my buddy's, uh, an army guy. So he took me out to the gun range. I had never been shooting before. Um, and I learned just all about the, um, what was I going to say? Uh, the laws. Apparently in North Carolina, you can have suppressors on your weapons. I don't really know, like, why do people, for practical reasons, I think that they're, I'll say this. I think that guns as a hobby are very, like, neat and cool. Um, I don't know why anyone would want to pay for them. I really don't understand that. And I also think that it's too easy to get your hands on a gun. Like, if you wanted a gun, there's, there's relatively little scrutiny that you need to do. Um, to, to be given one. Like, I could have been a crazy person when I walked in. I am not. Um, but I, I, I do kind of, I do kind of find that crazy. Um, no, those would be my two things. But also, you could get really into it. Because it's kind of like, it's kind of like a like a fun hobby like dolls or something like that you know or like warhammer but especially dolls <laughs> suppress it but why I'm, I'm curious though if there is a practical reason because there's a lot of things that aren't obvious to me is there a practical reason suppressors aren't that quiet that's true that's true hmm noise oh just for the for the noise literally because they don't want to hear the noise i mean i can't imagine that there's a lot of people who need to be quiet for, like, if somebody breaks into your house, you know, some people use them for home defense. That makes sense. Um, but why do you need to do it quietly? <laughs> I suppose. Why dolls? Because uh, everything is kind of like dolls, you know? Warhammer is kind of like dolls. When I look at my Warhammer collection, I'm like, they're dolls. Just so that I kind of, I'm down to earth when I think about it, you know? I don't ever want to become too much of a neckbeard about my, uh, about my Warhammer hobby. Ah, oh, damn it. I, I was a bit of a neckbeard when I was like 14. I got really into. I lost friends over it. Don't do that. If you're 14, don't do, don't don't get so into your hobbies. I was kind of a know-it-all kid. But uh, but um, yeah, it's just it's just not something I'm very proud of. What army do I play? You know, this has been my main question. I've been just agonizing, but I wanted to agonize over which Space Marine chapter I wanted to play as. Uh, because, yeah, it's kind of a commitment. I legitimately want to paint some ultramarines because there's so many guides to them. But I just feel, it feels like such a non-answer to paint ultramarines, you know? What are they? The, uh, the Imperial Fists, the yellow ones. Yeah. Uh, it's just a nice hobby to get back into. Anytime. Yeah, but at the same time, I don't know. Maybe I just didn't have an upbringing in some of that stuff. Uh, what did my father had? My father had, like, um, Davy Crockett when he was a kid. My father's actually a pretty old guy, but, uh, 
Yeah, you know, I suppose some people inherit it from their parents. So a lot of the stuff that I'm saying sounds kind of uh, ignorant because I just haven't lived. However, other folks have lived. This is kind of a cop-out answer, though. Let's see if we can find something else interesting. Mm. Barrett, M82, 50... Still want to try out some of the other things. I wasn't all that impressed with the crossbows. I wish I had liked them, but I really just didn't. Uh, they weren't they weren't very good at all. Let's see if we can find it. Like a, what is it? Nope. Really, only one thing of WD40. That no is Megan, depression. The errant dolls, they're action figures. Action figures. <laughs> Wait a second. Is this a Drake and Josh line? This almost reminded me of that line of Hanks from Breaking Bad, you know. No, they're not rocks, Marie. They're minerals. Minerals. Which is just a great in line in general. But also begs the question, did Breaking Bad take a line from Drake and Josh? This is a legit question. Hey, Andrew's here. Mr. Baldhead, how are you, my friend? LPC, uh, DC, Vir, Viredin. Why can't I say that? Viredin Lord? Thank you very much for the... I thought it said LAPD. I was like, FBI, open up. Uh, thank you very much for the prime. All right. Josh and Josh. Oh, yeah, now that the thing happened with uh, Drake Bell. That was bad to hear about. God. I can't imagine what it's like being a child. Not to, you know, like, excuse it in any way, but I can uh, I, I, I feel bad for people who had so much attention when they were young, you know? I don't really know anything about the story, though. I'm just an idiot. I, I don't read, guys. I don't read. I just hear rumors. Probably enough on that for now. Jake Farm from State. Thanks very much for the sub. Appreciate it. Made me remember. I made you remember. Yeah, well, some of them, you know, some of them have careers afterward, or they launch into, like, uh, who is it, Miley Cyrus? Launched into that big twerking career that she had. Um, <laughs> um, you know, music, music, of course, of course, of course. Ah, God damn it. Here we go. But yes, that was, uh, that was the thing that we knew. That we knew that she had changed via, uh, go. Ah, oh, god damn it. Why is that guy ignoring me? Hate that. Oh, we are out of ammo again. Will we ever be done with the island is the question. And I wonder also, too, are they respawning at a faster rate? Because there should be some respawn, but I don't think it's very significant. A lot of musicians make their break off of TikTok. Ah, oh, god. TikTok has really come up in the world. It was wild, you know? I was, um... Back when I was working, there was uh, a kid who, uh, um, what was I going to say? Uh, she had, like, uh, all of these followers on TikTok. It was, like, almost as many as I, and since I don't really talk to anybody about my channel, it was wild to me just to, like, meet another person with this. I couldn't imagine having it be not anonymous, though, on the channel. I don't think I would like to have my face out there. It just doesn't seem, uh, it just doesn't seem very palatable. You know, you'd walk down the street, try to buy some salami, and then somebody would be like, Hey, you were the one who was talking about the selling water. I don't like that. And then I'd have all these new enemies or something like that. Or if I ever cut somebody off on the highway because I really had to go somewhere, then, I, you know, I'd get messing with the profile. Uh, I don't want to live that life, though. I want to live that life. Or I'd be known for playing with dolls. Worse. For God's sake. Uh, okay, we don't need this ha ha camouflage. Uh, what are we What are we leveling in now? Mm. Mm, face cam. Oh yeah, I did used to. I did used to. I did used to. <laughs> we don't talk about that anymore. Gamer boy bathwater. <laughs> oh God. M240B. Let's just throw this down. Every now and then we just gotta get rid of all of our old guns and begin anew. Because we ran out- mainly because we ran out of ammo of that type. It's wild how quickly we're going through this. This past 12 will keep because the shotgun is just in general a good thing to have around. Let's move back over to this katana. We're gonna go Uma Thurman. 
Yeah. Kill Bill. Kill, uh... Uh, Bill. When I was a kid, I always thought that Kill Bill was something about Bill Clinton. Did it have anything to do with Bill Clinton? Why would they kill Bill Clinton? He's such a great guy. I mean, depending upon which of his things we're talking about uh, that he did. Sure, it was great for the economy. All right, we'll just uh, we'll leave the discussion of Bill. I'm not ready for a discussion of Bill Clinton today. I apologize. Ah, uh, here we go. Now I look like Full Metal Jacket. Wait, is this actually the Full Metal? This actually is the. Uh, well, it's got Marlboros and an Ace of Spades on it. That's kind of badass. Anybody read that thing about? I think it was Marlboro that said like smoking is terrible for you, and we want to stop making cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> like I've never seen a, I've never seen a company just so like outright just reject what they did. <laughs> be like the NBA saying we don't want there to be any more basketball. <laughs> well, that doesn't really make sense. Basketball isn't really hurting anyone. Football. It would be more like the NFL because football. Many of those guys leave the NFL with just horrible like brain injuries and stuff like that. Uh, what else do we need? Let's try this thing. This looks neat. The BTS, or like BTS rejecting McDonald's, you know? Something like that. <laughs> they have the Bill Clinton meal from McDonald's. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What do we need now? 9 by 19 millimeter. let's collect some of that. We, have, we haven't been through that ammunition type yet, have we? Okay, here we go. Let's, let's see if we can find a lot of this. We're also going to need more stuff. I'm just testing out more guns. The thing is that they've... There were already like 50 or 60 guns in the game. They added way more. And now I think that these are, is this a full auto gun? Let's just see, uh, fire. Go back to this thing. Fire mode, uh, single, what, well, what fire mode are we on right now? Full auto, wow, okay. Wow, we. Uh, do we have an, uh, what do we have? Uh, we need a magazine. 9 by 19 millimeter double stack. That shouldn't be too hard to find. This is kind of badass. The vaping industry is getting a lot of shit right now. Yeah. Well, I never really vaped. What is it? Like all the other stuff that they put into vape is supposed to be bad for you? This is probably better for the, than you for sm than smoking though, right? Why am I stuttering? You ever find yourself just stuttering but you don't really have anything to be ner like nervous about? <laughs> See, I just did it again right there. <laughs> Maybe it's just like a sign of a guilty conscience or something. What did I do? What did I do? <laughs> what, did I, what did I do? Maybe it's partly from being Catholic. Like, you know, like we're always supposed to feel guilty about something. Pretty, that's pretty much part of, it's <laughs> pretty much part of Catholic, like, education. Uh, it just, <laughs> it, it, it is wild, some of the things that, some of the things that you learn. There's a lot. There's a lot of good things, but uh, um, I'm, I'm not. I'm by no means am I one of those people who's just like against religion. I think religion has a lot of good uses. I'm just glazing over a lot of like really hot territory right now. Mainly, I just find value in the community, but uh, but it is just something that I find quite funny. <laughs> like the whole, the whole kind of ne uh, neurosis, neurosis of it. You know what I mean? Hmm. However, some people created, apparently some people have created a religion of Warhammer 40k. I, w I mean, that's pretty much going to your local game store, right? To practice your religion. I'm going to wear a robe. You know, I was trying to do this. There's a local game store near me. And I'm going to go there to play some 40k. But I think I'm going to wear a robe the first day. <laughs> just, to, just to fuck with everyone. Or maybe not, maybe not the 40k day, but maybe I'll do it on like the magic day. I kind of like Magic as a card game, though. Just as, like, a casual player. <laughs> but I'm going to wear a robe. Just because... Just because it'd be great. And the thing is, I don't e I'm not even really making fun of people. I just think this stereotype is funny. Because <laughs> some people... Oh my god, there's... Everybody's out of the window. Some people will hear these things that I say in the videos and then take them seriously. Like, man, you don't really mean that. And I'm like, no, nah, it's funny. It's just funny. 
or in actual space marine armor. Oh god. Sometimes you uh, stutter words when you have too many thoughts coming at once. Yeah, I, I think that happens with me a little bit. You have more thoughts than you can actually express at once, you know. Maybe it's just because I talk for a living. In, in a sense, in a sense. Uh, we're getting a lot of jams on this thing. Do we need to spray this down with some whipped cream? Uh, hang on a second. Repair, uh, unjam. I know I could just press X, but... Can we... We have WD-40, right? Can we spray that shit on? Come on, unjam. Ah, here we go, WD-40. Since the sound effects aren't in the game, I'm just going to provide them. Now, let's see what this full auto actually does. Not that I would recommend using it. I need that gun cleaning kit. Yeah. Well, the thing was that, I mean, I never finished this story. If you hadn't, if you didn't hear it, the first weapon that I ever shot when I went to the gun range was my friend took out an AK-47. So to this day, <laughs> the only weapon I've ever shot was an AK-47. Which is just kind of a, a, a funny thing to be like to be all amped up about. <laughs> anyway, this weapon really needed some WD-40 because it was just so, so messed up. Um, have I told this story before? I probably have. I'll just finish off. <laughs> I, I left the gun range because I cut myself. So I just came out bleeding. <laughs> just like, be careful in there, man. I was like, you're really gonna let me go back in there? <laughs> Despite the fact that I'm this stupid. The safety on the AK-47, though, is just a pain in the ass to undo. All of the modern safeties are so much more manageable. Maybe we just got a bad AK-47, though. Oh, it was the country of origin? Oh, I don't know. All I knew was that was what it was. Yeah. Felt, uh, felt kind of badass, though. Felt kind of badass. Hmm. Mm, nah. All right, not getting anything over. Let's see. Explore this next. God damn it. Let's explore this next building and see if we can find anything inside. Or can we even get inside of it? What a lovely garden. But will there be any? Maybe there isn't even an indoors to this. Whoa! Uh, hang on a second. Everyone, just come down. We could probably get them to bash down this. Ooh, what is behind this door? Hang on a second. Uh, okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna plunk this into their skulls. Sitting here cleaning my 70... Or WD-40 and I guess that... Hey, WD-40... What does WD even stand for? Why 40? Were there like 39 other sorts of WDs that they tried before that? Like, we finally got it this time, guys. <laughs> this, this is the one. Yeah, you could use this. S just spray this on your gun. Ah, oh, it'll be fine. Ah, uh, Western Digital. Western Digital 40. All the... Every, anytime I ask a serious question, there's always a bunch of folks who just gotta try to confuse me. S water displacement. That's quite a clever answer. Water displacement recipe. What are there? Thirty other not thirty-nine other recipes that they used. These ones are for your spoons. In case if you can't get the spoon out of your mouth, you just spray some WD thirty-nine on there. Come on, guys, put some back into it. You'll be out of there in no time. I should probably stand back more because it's always a shock whenever they come in. Uh. Ah, good, okay. Why am I doing- well, I don't want to attract any more to the location. Ah, damn it. No, I meant to go to the other guy, not you. Alright, do any of you have a house key on you? God damn it. Nah, they don't. Alright, what we need to do is get inside of there and plunk the house key off of one of them. Hmm. Very danger. Very danger. Mm. This is a lot of really good stuff. And uh, the main thing that I'm uh, plussed about—you can be non-plussed about something. Can you be plussed about something? 
whatever. What I'm jolly about right now is the fact that I actually have a closed door that I can use. Uh, but I'm also getting kind of sick. I need to get rid of all of these dead bodies around me. Hello. Ah, damn it. That didn't make any physical sense. Uh, they have two formulas purged from his... Really? WD-4? I gotta go shopping on Amazon or something to get all of the other WDs. WD-40, WD-39, 38, 37. Ah, this is... I look like a nerd now, though. Real four eyes. And when Mitchell Camouflage, tell me that this is not the helmet from Full Metal Jacket. I'm gonna go need to watch that again. Private Pile? Uh, wait a minute. Hang on just a minute now. R unlock door? No. No, this can't be. Uh, yeah, yeah it, it isn't. Yeah, this isn't the right one. Well, if we can get into that other room, we could at least block them off. What I really need is a tall glass of water. Let's also throw down some of this other garbage. Uh, 9 by 19 millimeter. Let's take all 35 of those shells and just stick them in there. What else? Uh, you know, this katana doesn't really need the katana anymore. There we go. Okay, attach that to my back. I'm liking this weapon. At least they've made automatic weapons a little bit more doable. You know what I mean? Hmm. Mm, okay. This is actually quite cozy up here. Uh, water. There really isn't enough water on this island, though. I mean, all I need is, like, a glass of grape drink, right? To quote Dave Chappelle. Mm, pause when it... Yes, pause when... Well, we'll be good now. The thing is, we aren't really in any danger now, but otherwise, yes, we could pause while looting. Pausing while looting might be a good practice to take up on now, though, simply because I've been bit and killed many times when I've been looting. And it might not hurt me to do that. I'm a YouTube VOD frog, but it's awesome to be able to catch a stream. Hey, thanks for coming out, Jetty Bandit. Yeah, I haven't been putting up so many VODs lately just because it's been taking me forever to, like, actually produce them. So it's taking longer and longer, and I... It, it, the whole process takes several hours. It's kind of a pain. I just haven't been doing it as much until my internet gets better. But thanks for coming out. Mm. My god, this thing is... A nightmare. Jesus. Water. Wait, is it is it actually water displacement? I still have to find out what it is because I didn't believe anyone. Sorry, I don't trust anyone. Go look it up now. I'm just fascinated by WD-40 now. What does it contain? I think it's just butter. What does it actually have in it? Like it's probably the same stuff that they use to like batter up the pan for pancakes. I'm pretty sure that's it. You guys don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Do you want a bullet or some pancakes? Oil? Oh, just crude oil? No, it's got to be butter. They get it from a cow. Uh, if you if you don't think that, then you're kidding yourself. Mm. Damn it, this thing sucks. This WD-40 sucks. Yeah, it's like, we need more. We need more. Maybe I didn't succeed the last time. Oh, wait a second, its condition is ass. Oh, I gotta go get that gun cleaning kit from back there. That's why this thing has been so ass. Ah, uh, I understand now, but that is just so... Listen to that. Ah, oh, so good. I've always been a fan of the gun sounds in this game. Hmm. Slightly thirsty. Well, it is Thursday. Wait, is today Thursday? No, today is Sunday. You can still be thirsty on Sunday. Ball. <laughs> Balls. Ball tactical. All right. Ah, oh, what does that sound? Ah, Suraki Sura Surasit heal the mist. Ah, Sura Surasit heal chemist. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Hmm, hang on a second. Um mm, suppressor. Oh, we found a rifle suppressor. Oh 
Booga booga, ina, 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 booga, ina, ina. Great. All right, we've been looking for that. Uh, well, not really. Oh, incendiary rounds. If we manage to find a grenade launcher, we could actually use that. I am... I am very glad about this news. Frab just day. Hang on a moment. Um, mm, Kalu Kale. Good. Potentially repairs. I'm liking this weapon. Let's just stay, stay with this. My god, this thing is still managing to just be pure ass. Even after all of these repairs, after everything I've done for you. You still, why aren't you contributing to the war effort? All right, well, it's fine. It's fine, I suppose. Is there another one? Come on, give me an item. No, I, it is not meant to be. My god, how many different eye things does he have on at once? This is bananas. Is WD-40 a good replacement for deodorant? Hell yeah, just spray some of it on there in the morning. Nobody will ask you any questions. Um, really, no one will approach you through most of the day because you'll smell like a gun. If you... No, dude, I am lying. I am being completely jocular. Do not wear WD-40 instead of deodorant. You'll probably get you'll probably get arrested or just a lot of weird looks. In fact, though, I don't think necessarily that they could arrest you for that. But I uh, wouldn't. Uh, depends on what kind of. I mean, if you're going into like a mechanics shop or something, everyone will smell like WD-40. But if you're going to like your school prom or something, you probably don't want to spray on a lot of WD-40. I like that though. Like you just see a bunch of degree for men. And WD-40. Ah, <laughs> uh, WD-40 jokes. It's always a good. It's always a good stream when you can just jam to a few of those. Hey, Ken, uh, since Ken's, is it a hard C or a soft C? Ken's for thanks very much for the uh, for the sub. Appreciate that. All right, let's head back over to that hospital. I think we've cleared out almost the entire island. Uh, we'll also... Uh, let's go over here. Ah, oh, damn it. I switched out my controls. There we go. There's something magical about the rain in this game. You folks ever think about which games have the best weather in them? I was thinking about, um... Zomboid. I really don't think that RimWorld compares in terms of rain. I don't think that it's... Because there's so many things that I laud RimWorld at doing really well. And I think as far as a game is constructed... Um, I do think that RimWorld is, like, applicable to more scenarios and settings and whatnot uh so overall i think that it is a game that appeals to a wider audience rimworld than zomboid i may be i may be wrong about that though but whatever um but i don't think that it's weather is as good as zomboids and i think that zomboid excels in it but i have always sought other games with great weather systems and i i, I struggle to to uh to discover them hmm Desperation. That is a very ambitious wall of text about WD-40. Yes, do not... Well, don't eat it. Why would you eat it? That would just be dumb. <laughs> ran out of... Ran out of butter. Just spray some WD-40. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, God. I hope no one actually gets... <laughs> There's always like one out of a hundred thousand people. Oh, I think I'm gonna try that. <laughs> Ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. Gorka. Oh, I found another Gorka. Bars for Gorka. I may as well try this thing, right? Uh, what did I have? Bars for Gorka with Autumn Camo. What does it just look like plain? Gorka. What is that? Russian? Is it Russian? It sounds kind of Russian. Doesn't it sound Russian? I gotta head back to the hospital. Valheim has good rain. Oh, I gotta try Valheim. You know, I've, n I've not played it at all, because I thought that the game was overhyped. Now it's kind of died out a good bit after its hype, and now I'm like, I could play Valheim, you know? Hmm. Have I played Star Sector? What, for telling people to eat WD-40? <laughs> that, that would be how it would all end. <laughs> what other games? What other games have good, uh, Star Sector, but Star Sector can't really have weather in it, because it's about space. Unless if you count space weather. Hmm, what other games have good weather? 
A lot of their games have good weather. Heavy rain. Heavy rain, because it had heavy rain in the title. You knew it had to have good rain. Mm. But what else? Stalker had amazing... I, you know, I still have yet to play Stalker. We're gonna sit down with Stalker. And you and me are gonna hash it out for a while. CDDA, I wish they had better weather effects. But it does have dynamic weather systems into the in the game, which is kind of neat. I, I think Zomboid might have... Minecraft, too. Minecraft also has very beautiful weather. Animal Crossing also has good weather. Xenoblade. I've not played Xenoblade. Mafia series. I mean, I suppose other games with, like, uh, open worlds. Open world RPGs that are kind of like Zomboid. Zomboid, you could just get under the hood with everything, and it's great, though. Mm. But it's not all great. Now, these things suck in terms of just how many bullets are in them. Do we have any double stacks with... Twice the ammo. 9 by 39 millimeter. Uh, not quite what I was looking for. Mm, no, 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 no. Not quite. Terraria is nice. Terraria is nice. Terraria probably has good weather, too. Yeah. But a lot of these... Uh, I don't know. I've just always looked for that other game that's, like, you know, hidden beneath the... Uh, trees. That's like Zomboid. Because there's other stuff out there. There's other stuff out there. Uh, we need a hammer to break this open. Do we have a hammer? Does anyone have a hammer? There we go. Hammer. Take that. What else do we need? Oh, sledgehammer. One size fits all answer to everything. Good. Uh, let's attach that to... Whoops. Switch up those controls again. And let's just destroy everything. Ah, fantastic. Take all of this out of here, and all of this out of here. I could sleep behind some boxes tonight. Might end up doing that. Good. Okay, uh... Uh, destroy this. Good. Good. And good. Okay. Good, I feel safer behind the boxes. You ever make yourself a box fort because you didn't feel safe? And you wanted to feel safe? That's a good feeling. You know, I heard that was what the legend of Bumbo was based on, because uh, Edmund used to build himself a cardboard box house sometimes. I think there's there's something, like, nice about that feeling, about just being surrounded by boxes, which are very predictable. Is that, can we relate on this? I'd enjoy dark wood. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, God. I love saying things that everyone agrees to, that we all... Uh, yeah, we all just immediately laud as being the perfect ways of living our lives. No, but I kind of miss that as a child, you know, like blanket forts, stuff like that. Ah, that seems really nice. Maybe I'll go ahead and make a blanket fort. Just to get back in touch with childhood. I still think that sleeping on the ground should be always an option. I, I don't know why it happens only when you get ridiculously tired. I should be able to sleep on the ground at any point in time. My life, my choices. Indie Stone, why are you trying to limit me? I'll never trust you. I'll never trust you fully. Now what is this hobo fire? Look like a hobo fire, everybody. Is it giving off any heat? No, it's not giving it. It's just an animation. Goddamn animation. Mm, is there anywhere else we could use that sledgehammer? We could have used it before in that other building. To get into that. But I would rather just wait for them to destroy that. Let's see if we can get back to the hospital. F some stuff up. Come back here. I am optimistic. But now we need to find food. We need food again. Don't homeless people live in box forts? Well, I mean, that's a different kind of box fort, though. Mm. You're telling me is what I can... Yeah, the man keeps telling me what to sleep in and out of. Though there is unfortunately a law against sleeping in a paper bag. I don't think that that's allowed. Which is kind of like, but what if you don't have a house and you don't have any money? Like, where do you sleep? Is everywhere against the law? It's like a law against vagrancy. But there's nothing that says that you can't pretend all of that in your own house. Mm, okay. Slap. I slap. Good, good. Let's go upstairs. Ah, very comfortable. Very comfortable sleep. Good. 
Hmm. Now, today we need food, but I think we've mostly cleared out the island. I feel like we've fulfilled our goal. This is kind of what I want to head in the direction of. I think that today we can pretty much finish this place off by going over to the uh, western shore in the moody rain. Ooh, very nice. The moody rain. Make our way back out there. And uh, will we even need food? Do we even food, though? Mm, I think we could do this without food. My god. This thing is great. It's almost like every weapon becomes some kind of long-range heat-seeking missile when you get good enough at aiming, though. Doesn't that feel like you lose it? Ooh! Like you lose a bit of the immersion. It'd be nice if you could at least make the view range longer with things like snipers. I wonder if that'll ever be implemented by a mod or anything. Yeah, this thing really... This thing could really use an extended mag. I can't believe only 15 bullets in there for automatic. But Jesus Christ, it's good. Very worth. This is not a... I would not recommend doing any of this. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, there, there they come. Is this to be the... Nope. This is not to be the end. Ooh, this entire side of the island has been in slumber for the last couple of days. But this is... This might be a great place to die. I would really like to die like this. You know, rather than just being in a bed at the end. No, no, this is a very action-filled death. Might be worthwhile to just savor this for a moment, even if I don't die. No, I don't believe any of that. If I take Eagle Eyed while building my character, it helps a little bit. Oh, that's true. Does it actually allow you to see farther if you take Eagle Eyed? I never thought of that. Like, can you zoom out from your character more? What does Eagle Eyed even do for you? Or does it just improve your view radius? Would you die or get turned into a zombie? True. True. Probably get turned into a zomb. Mm -hmm. uh, that bothers me. I should be able to select the one. Though I feel like all of my complaints from the last time were answered more or less this time. I still don't think they were really that far over to the other side of the island, though. What did I learn in this? I feel like that all of the guns that they added to this mod just make for an overall more balanced British experience. Because before, I would immediately seek out the, uh, the drum mag. And now I feel like I could live without the drum mag. Like, these other weapons might be worth the while. And it's not all that bad to, uh, upgrade your aiming and reloading. I mean, in only a few hours here, I've nearly maxed out my levels. Albeit, I did have an, um, improved rate of experience, but not by that much. Here are the way to live in Zomboid when they add airway loot from placing airways in... Oh, I'll be excited when they add in, uh, what is it? Helicopters again. Or, uh, not again, but when that mod with the helicopters gets finished. Because can you imagine somebody just helicoptering by? I don't know the, what is the right verbiage for helicopter? Flies by in a helicopter? That seems like too many words. But yeah, does that. And you're just living your life on the ground like an ant. Make you feel all inadequate and everything. I'm looking forward to that feeling of inadequacy from standing on the ground and just being amazed by whoever's in the helicopter. Yeah. But I hope that the, I hope that the uh, servers that, that do get used to use a lot of mods. But I always found that they used a very tasteful number of mods for the, for the servers that they have. Probably things like Brita will work. Really, just as long as it has Brit, I'll play it. Brit has been so good. Man, this is a lot that came over from this other end of the island. Ultimately, I'd really like for somebody to just be able to feed me ammo into some kind of long belt. Don't we have that already? Like, miniguns, belt-fed ammo, so that you could just keep firing forever? Hmm, yes. It would be neat to have a clan. I don't think I could actually have a clan, though, because people would find it out too quickly. Now, if I did, I would have to do it in secret in secret and then tell you about it later like uh change my name to something like uh, uh what is my name horace Furman. change my name in real life 
to something like Horace Furman, join the clan, go back, make a video on having changed my name, I think that would make a good enough of a video in and of itself. And then come back, it would be worth it for the cinematography. The helicopter is already a verb. Ah, so it already is a verb. So someone could helicopter by. Could I transitively use it and helicopter someone else? I helicoptered Horace Furman. Jeez. Um, my brain is turning into mush now. I feel like I've been streaming for- my god. Just the endless tides are somewhat crazy though. Jesus. I'm surprised though that this is insane horde levels. I can probably do a couple more, but then I'm just gonna run out of ammo. I might continue it another time, but I've been wanting to uh, give this a shot. I'm not sure if this is really going to lend itself to narrative though. Just because I feel like it's a lot of zombie killing, and I don't really feel like that zombie killing necessarily makes for the best narrative. It's more about the adventures that we had along the way, you know what I mean? Like, I could make... I could make eating a... Eating a banana and drinking a glass of milk interesting in Zomboid with the right script and storytelling. Of course, you need to have some kind of accomplishment, but what would be the goal if this were to be the playthrough? Because I'm considering doing this as the next big playthrough. With a lot of, like, uh... Either that or living on a boat. I think living on a boat might be more interesting, though. Maybe we'll try that one soon. Mm. There's nothing to do with, uh... Yeah, like a cleanup mission. But I'm trying to think of how I would f uh, frame it as a video. Yeah. I always like there to be a really good reason to get invested in a playthrough. If I'm not invested in something, it's not even worth it. So I usually work out the type of challenge I'm doing even before I start making the video. Because if it's not worth clicking on it, then it's not worth making the video. You know what I mean? Like, I need something that I would have more fun hearing myself narrate and watch myself play than it might even be to play it myself. Or, I mean, I want you to feel like after you're done watching a video, I want to go out and try that myself. That's, to me, that's a success. So what would it be here? Taking back the island? I feel like it'd be neat if I had it with my friends. If we did this on multiplayer and I had a bunch of other good players come out. Not that I'm good at multiplayer. There's some people who are really good at PvP. Uh, I'm good at PvE. Almost everybody's good at PvE, but you need to be really patient and... Uh, for lack of a better term, just kind of boring. If you want to be good at PvP. That's why I bought some, but hey, happy to hear that. Yeah, I feel like the boat life might be interesting if you just went from island to island. Or if you tried to survive on one ro one road. Hey, I think you could frame the boat way in different interesting ways, too. Yeah, maybe living on a boat. You could find a cool boat, too, like a dinghy or something. You could drown it. Root, mm, root beer floats are delicious, and you suggest that I have one. Well, thank you, multigrain man. I assume that's because... Your name is G Multi Grain Man, and you're trying to promote grains. Uh, regardless, though, I did I did drink a lot of root beer full loads. The, uh, why did I say floats like that? <laughs> you ever have a word come out of your mouth that you just said the wrong way, but you didn't really correct yourself or have a time to distance yourself from what you were saying, so it just kind of sounds like you have a like there's something wrong with the way that you talk. That happens to me sometimes, and it's pretty bad because of, I mean, what I do. I make videos, so, you know, you never see me, so you don't see that there's anything going on with my mouth, so you think, well, that's just the way that he says floats, and then I'm embarrassed, and that's why I try to avoid saying anything the wrong way, and that's what uh, keeps me awake at night. Hmm. No, well, Simon. Simon, thanks very much for the prime. Appreciate it. Mm. Yeah, I gotta commit to saying the word. I'm just gonna willfully say something wrong and then stay stay with that just to make a point. Anybody who says otherwise is wrong. <laughs> Ella Jacket, what is this? Oh, this looks kind of bad. Except none of our stuff matches. I mean, is there a whole set of... Some kind of item that they all match and then it, it makes sense and you feel complete when you're wearing all of them? Yeah, the struggles of streaming, you know, it's really stupid things, but it comes up in other careers and professions throughout life. You know, like a job, and I'd say job interviews in particular, because 
anytime that somebody says something to you during the job interview, your response is supposed to sound like the best version of yourself, which of course, I've had some terrible job, but it's great to have bad job interviews. They just make for such great stories. A bad job interview. Nobody ever wants to hear about your successful job interviews. They want to hear about the bad ones. It gives you more stories. My god, this is really bothering me how my helmet clips through the... Oh god, I can't... Uh... Jesus. Whatever I say... No, please don't do that. It's question. Question. Mm. AA-12... This was made for me. AA shotgun. Yeah. AA shotgun. There we go. Shotgun suppressor. Okay, here we go. Hey, who's... You get out of here. Why do I feel like a gangster with this weapon? It's kind of like an Uzi or something. Um, 12-gauge shotgun shells. AA-12. Let's see if we can attach that to our back. Let's use the AA-12. This is the... Uh, oh, this is the... What's his face? The FPS Russia gun. FPS Russia. Uh, that was a pretty terrible... Uh... All right, everybody leave now. That was, that was a bad FPS Russia. FPS Russia was not Russian, though, either. Hmm, throw these on the ground. Okay, now we're dedicated over to shotgun shells because this is going to be the best what, item for clearing out the entire place. Hmm. 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 12 gauge shotgun shells. There we go. Okay, the ammo strap. Yeah, all right. Uh, wear that. Wear. Good. That means someone would. Just lie on... Yeah, no one would ever lie on the internet. What are you talking about? Laser to... Laser? Ghost ring, I believe we need. Or is good. Now all we need is that goddamn... I'm surprised that there's no screwdrivers on this island. Alright, let's load this thing up. Do we have a... Uh, do we have a magazine for this? Needs magazine to operate. Well, I know where there is a magazine. Oh, uh, this, we might find the... Yes! Found it. Ah, ha, ha, ha! Good. Uh, let's upgrade. Yes, good. Ghost ring and a suppressor. Ah, this is the very badass weapon. Mm. Mm, AA-12, good. Upgrade with the ghost ring, because it says ghost in it, so you know that it's scary. Uh, Navel Naval Pluis J90. Thanks very much for the prime. Appreciate it. Hmm. Uh, yeah, on the internet, no one knows that you aren't Russian. I could be Russian, for all you know. That's true. That is fair. Fair and well, fair and well, well met. Uh, now all we need is that drum mag. I'll bring this sledgehammer with me because it could be useful. Is this? How is this backpack, though? G3 Phantom... Is this thing better than the... This thing actually is... Uh, is it better than the... I'm trying to figure out if it's better than the big hiking bag. ELA pants. Now, they aren't as good as my current pants, which bothers me because my current jacket is very nice. Whoa, wait, 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 why am I wearing... Suddenly, I'm wearing leggings. Very beautiful leggings. I think that these don't look as good, but they're better, so I'm going to keep them. Okay. Uh, let's see, weapon part, weapon part. Where are magazines? Are they as listed as weapon part? Yeah, these are like apple bottom jeans. These are the boots with the. All I need now is the boots with the fur. <laughs> what is the best sight? God, some of these are probably better. I just have no idea on sights. Five, five, six, uh, stand ag. So, this, if, if you want to learn about guns, go ahead and add this to the game. It's very interesting. Rifle butt pad. One point sling. No, we still need that. We still need that shotgun drum mag. Show me that shotgun drum mag. I know where to find one if I can't find one in this last bit. All right, we know where we're going next. To the roof. With uh, apparently with a great thirst, I have. My thirst is great for a. Uh, yeah, what am I looking for again? 
Um, a shot, uh, uh, 12 gauge magazine. That is my thirst. What is this mod called? I've got a mod list. Uh, just go ahead and type exclamation point mod list and it will uh, bring up all the mods. There's a bunch of them on. I'm thirsty for some WD-40, yes. <laughs> heavy load. I've got a heavy load. <laughs> it's such a funny sentence. Uh, oops. Uh, sledgehammer. Oh, we shouldn't have all these 9mm rounds on us. I'm just going to throw those on the ground. 12-gauge uh, carrier. We could also equip this to our weapon, too. God, this is like re-educating myself on this entire mod. 12-gauge carrier. Good. That takes off a slight bit of weight. Good. Bring that back into my hand. Box of shells. Now we're down to 10.71. Well, the main thing is that we just haven't eaten in a while. We'll go get some foodstuffs. Mm, good. M1014 is my favorite shotgun, but it's expensive as hell. In the game? I've not found it. I haven't really, you know, I haven't gone through all of the stats and uh, gandered through all of that garbage. But yeah, I could take a gander through it. Mm, gun mag. Avon protection. Is this better than what I've got? Who even knows? Who even knows, really? But I swear to God, I remember that there was a, a drum mag up here. There was. There was. Believe me. Please believe me. You remember it too, don't you? There was a drum mag. Oh, the 40 millimeter. Clip of 40 millimeter rounds. <laughs> Just a whole lot of explosives in one place. It'll be fun if we continue this. Uh, vertical grip. Wow. You can see that. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, it was a 45 ACB. Okay, there we go. 12 gauge drum magazine. Ha, ah, I was right. I am not wrong. Uh, AA-12. Okay, so what we need to do here is ch um, use drum mag with AA-12. There's one way that we could totally mess this up. Good, I didn't mess it up. This is one of the most powerful things that you can get in the game. But let's see if we can just take this and plunk it on it. There we go. Oops. There we go. And destroy. Ah, uh, this is going to be kind of awkward. Let's just do it. Because I'm going to get so encumbered from this thing. It's going to... Uh, I'm going to get bit in a second if I don't do this right. Gun cleaning kit we'll put in there. We really have anything else that's that heavy. Oh, the katana. Yeah, but I kind of want to keep that on me. Maybe it's just the sum of all the stuff that I'm wearing. I need some food. We can find any food. Is there any food? Nope, no food. Nope, no food again. All right, time to go to the residences. Put that back on there and attach that to my back. And suddenly I'm not over encumbered anymore. Get some food. We're going to come back for this guy and then we're going to kill him. Ah, great. Mm, what were there? I feel like there was another question I had, though. Mm. Man, so many questions about 40k. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like my thoughts are just kind of consumed by 40 Warhammer 40k and uh, guitars. I don't know. Those are my other hobbies, like in real life. Uh, was piano a couple weeks ago. I've just been playing a lot of piano stuff. It's, it's weird, though. You know, like, it's there's something strange about having my hobby be my job now. Like, it's... I, I don't think of it as just gaming, because if I were a streamer, it would be more just gaming. But there's also commentary that has value in it, you know. And I enjoy watching a lot of folks that I, um, really more that I feel more nostalgia about streaming and making videos and stuff like that. But at the same time, it's kind of like I found myself over the last week not enjoying the editing process as much because I always need to refresh my eyes whenever I'm viewing anything that I created. So it becomes somewhat tedious in many ways. And I like it, but it's just that I do it a lot. So I found myself like literally assembling miniatures to take a break from it. But it was weird. It was like I felt strangely unproductive and yet, you know what I mean? Like, isn't that a weird thing that anything that you do repeatedly becomes work, whatever it is? 
work creating and editing is it's not really like it's kind of like writing a story like remember how you used to write essays for school when you were a kid or maybe if you were fortunate enough to have a teacher who gave you a lot of uh choices when you were when you got older you chose to write about something that you enjoyed more and it's kind of like writing a bunch of essays on things that i really enjoy but at the same time i feel like when i do it too much it does become like it starts to feel like work yeah, commissioning a video or doing an editor. I don't know, it wouldn't really be the same, though. I Like, I do enjoy editing. It's not really the route I want to take, though. It's like, um, yeah, I wouldn't mind it to have one or two. But more, more what I was just kind of thinking along the lines of is that there's other things that I enjoy doing, and I don't... It's kind of like a weird thing where I feel like I, I have a bug that I always want to be productive in some way, and that's not really a very good quality about me. Um... Uh, but it's also like I think it's kind of a natural thing when you do this for work that you feel like whenever you're not doing anything that's work that you feel like you're falling behind like you know it kind of it makes you feel like you finished your work or early at school when you're a kid you don't have anything else to do it's a little uncomfortable which is why I'm like uh, I, I feel like that a lot of the other things that I do like music uh, I was a huge musician when I was in college. Just kind of like, is there anything I can create of value to the world with that? YouTube is interesting like that, you know? You, know, you never realized all the different talents and things that you could uh, create value for other people with them. I don't know, that sounds like very corporate the way I'm saying it, but that's kind of what it is in many ways. The Doom Peg, thank you very much for the, uh, not Doom Peg, Doom Pig. Thank you very much for the sub. I played a lot of guitar when I was, uh, started actually kind of late when I was 19, but I got so into it. I got ridiculously into it, um, much throughout the rest of my time at school. And then I got into piano just because I got more... Piano is like the teacher's instrument in music. Putting minis together is pretty fun. Oh, no, I... Some things, though, you gotta have just as, like, a hobby. But it's also kind of weird how, you know, during a week you'll just do everything that you can find balance but I, I kind of like the way that my days in life are structured now I've found like an inner peace hmm. welcome to a capitalist mentality <laughs> yeah pretty much that pretty much that I don't really know I mean it's not hurting anyone it's not taking anything away from anyone it is contributing to society in some way so I view, I view it as uh, okay in that regard if I were like, you know, if I were scamming people or something like that, that would be an issue. Because there are people who are like professional scammers out there. Some of whom I've, I've spoken about a little bit recently on this channel. Uh, behind the scenes, behind the scenes. Just adorable things happen to me in my personal life. <laughs> but yeah, at least it's not hurting anyone. That's kind of my thought on it. Mm, here we go. Good, good, good. I think we might actually be able to finish off this island. But if I don't in the next couple minutes, I'll probably, uh, pick this up. Stop hitting myself with my piano. My hands are too small to play piano. Oh, no, there, there are plenty of people with small hands and great pianos. I, they just played small pianos. My favorite miniature I've built. Oh, no, I did the, uh, what was it, the Warhammer 40k? God, I'm, I just, I find myself thinking about 40k, but I also think that that's the right mindset to be in. Because, like, my target audience for my videos, they're like, I kind of want to make videos for, like, a younger version of myself. Which is kind of like, well, the older I get, the better I will be at it. And I enjoy it. It's like telling a story. I used to write a lot of poetry in college, too. Uh, got some things published and actually won a prize. Uh, it was like for several hundred dollars, which in college was a lot of money, you know, trying to pay off your loans and everything like that. Um, but I remember I got out into the real world, and then I tried submitting it to a magazine. And the, the issue with publishing poetry is that uh, there's always some aesthetic that the place that you submit it to is looking for. And I don't think I really hit that aesthetic because they did not accept it. Supposedly you should submit to a lot of places, though. But yeah, I think it's always good to pursue something a little bit higher, though. 
something higher than gaming or just to challenge yourself in many ways. Throughout this whole journey of creating videos and whatnot, kind of changing their format and whatever and finding something that worked for me. Is this getting boring? Well, if it is, then go away or do something else. Um, hmm. What am I saying? But, you know, it's, it's good to challenge yourself and do other things. Uh, I don't really even mean it in regards to, like, the whole YouTube meta thing. When I think about the whole YouTube meta thing, it just kind of tires me out. And it, I... The, the better off I am is... Uh, or I'm in a better place when I just think of myself as a, as a younger child living in a box fort, you know? That's usually the best way to live your life or to understand yourself. When you're living in a box fort underneath a blanket or something like that. That's when you can ask the real questions. That's when the good questions come out. Mm. Have I watched the Astartes series from 40k on YouTube? I did. I did. I had the fortune of seeing Astartes. Astartes is crazy talented. I have never seen someone ever be that good at animation. Was that the work of one man? Or was it like a couple of people? Astartes' 40k work was incredible. I believe it's now- I think it got bought by Games Workshop, right? Didn't they pay him to- Didn't they hire him? It was- it was that good that they had to- One crazy Swedish person? Is he- are you kidding me? It was one guy who made all of that? Some people are just... Incredible. Incredible. Hmm. As far as people that I watch and enjoy, I'm trying to think of other people that I like. There, because it it becomes harder for me to watch and enjoy a video now. But my friend Troopin, I don't know if you guys know Troopin. You should go hit him up. I legitimately really enjoy watching his videos. They're just so like extremely satisfying to watch. Why am I going into a dark room alone in the night? Hang on a moment. Uh, ooh, are there... There could be more of them back there trying to sell me something. Uh, ooh, 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 ah, ooh, ooh. Let's go get some electronics, shall we? We need more batteries. Mm, do you have... No, no battery in there. Battery in here? Ooh, an M1 helmet. I don't know what that is. Okay, never mind. Helmet visor. What does that replace? Does that re Wow. Very wow. Hang on a moment. That, oh, that replaced nothing. That was just... There was nothing there. The fan animators for the website. Oh, yeah. There's all kinds of controversy that surrounds the Games Workshop thing. I don't know. I just kind of mean purely in praise of... Uh, what's his name? Oh, ooh. Jesus. Way too close. I got too close to that door, and I am not happy about it. Hmm. What if all the zombies are just trying to sell me an extended car warranty? <laughs> I'm not having that. See, that would be... That seems like it would be a scam. I don't need an extended car wa warranty when my car is just going to give out 10 days after the warranty. My god, no, this is it. This is the end. Though I probably have on so much armor, I would be fine. Uh, that was actually somewhat scary. Did my gun jam? Ah, that's the scary part about having only one gun. Having only one car warranty. What do I have on? I think I have on abundant loot. But I, I did turn on low for food and everything else. What is this? Springfield XD4? What even is this? Whenever you just see a big-ass revolver and you're like... Hey, that, that wasn't even a revolver. Whatever it was. Handgun? I think it was just a handgun. Yeah, because there was nothing revolving in it. Revolver there actually has to be... All right, stupidity aside, um, I wanted to call it a revolver because it was big enough and badass to be one, but it just wasn't. It was just inaccurate. Sad. Much sad. If it shows me in big red letters, I know, I wish that it showed jam in the middle of the screen, though, so that I couldn't ignore it. Mm. Ah, peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Ah, uh, a maze. Great. Oh, I scream, I scream, I scream, everybody, I scream. I scream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. Yeah. 
Now eat it. Good. Tastes good, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, two drum mags, uh, pretty much a full set of gear. This is looking very daisy. You know, there's a good amount of variety. One concern with the Paul Low Loot. Paul Low Loot is a great mod, by the way. I don't want to give you the wrong idea. But it, my one concern with all of those armors in the last mods that we were checking out was that it seemed like they all kind of converged on one armor set. It seems like there's a good amount of variation in this, so that when you have multiplayer and you have different players together, Everyone could look cool, have good gear, and then yet still be wearing varied gear, which is a nice thought. Hmm. I use mini gun when I have one gun that do the trick, in case if one jams. Which, my god, it does seem like that they jam a lot. I mean, I don't shoot guns often. I've done it once. But, do people who shoot guns often, do they jam this often, or is this just a crazy amount in the in the mod. I'm like there's an absurd amount of jamming. But maybe maybe that's just the reality. Maybe that's just the reality in my face. Hmm. See that this island is pretty much are are we feeling sad okay, sadness is a bit harder to get get rid of. Absolutely yeah, so the, maybe this is an excessive amount of jamming. Maybe we should turn down the jamming amount. I feel justified in this now. Gun jam frequency. Firearm jam frequency. Let's do 50% rare. Yeah. I don't think I buy this. I don't think I buy this. Very poorly maintained weapon. Yeah, something like that. Game balance thing. I suppose that that makes sense. Ooh, like you gotta spend time maintaining your weapon. I kind of like that, but it just seems like it gives out so often. Where are we here now? I wish my night vision had a little bit more battery. Can we find any... Ah, here we go. Dismantle the radio. Can we get some batteries in here? Yeah. I'm all about that uh, battery. Good. Uh, hang on a moment. You get out of here. Okay, let's uh, just turn it... Let's have one more night vision session. I like how they called it Sam Fisher's night vision goggles. We should really play Chaos Theory here one day. Chaos Theory is one of my favorite games. Uh, turn on. There we go. Unless if they made a... Are the other future Tom Clancy games better? I presume that they are. But Chaos Theory just holds such a special place in my heart. Where is... The oh, this is a stairway. I can't wear this thing inside. It makes me even more confusion. No. Yeah, but if we could get that outline color changed, that would be amazing. That would be my one suggestion. If that's an option, we could... You know, you could change the color of things that you highlight with your inventory. I'm not sure if this already exists in the game, but if we could change the color of enemies highlighted from green to either blue or red or something like that, that would make these night vision sessions a lot easier with the mod. Because it seems like that's pretty apparent. Twitch integration to Project Zomboid? I think there... Uh, is somebody actually working on that mod? Yeah. Well, how far has our character come? We are... Who are we? Horace Furman? We've killed 1,061 zombies, and we've survived for days... Two days and 16 hours, so three days, just about here. I'm assuming that we'll make it to four, so we'll call it in round three days. And this has been damn good. I still think that this weapon set is extremely overpowered, the AA-12. So I'm probably going to continue going with this. At least for clearing out hordes. You'd need something longer range for players. You always want to skulk in the shadows and hide from far away. But I'm feeling more multiplayer ready. And considering how much, how, or how far these mods have come just in the last couple of months, it's amazing. I hope we get to see them all in multiplayer. Let's just kill, get one more, one more group. God damn it. One more group. Can you, can I please have this satisfaction? Where are my... There we go. Shotgun shells. Open these two boxes. Okay. Yeah, all right. I'm... I'm finishing up. Good. Reload. Reload. Do I have any plans for when multiplayer drops? Oh, just a bunch of things that I want to do with friends. 
Does this mod list work with 41.52? I'm not sure if the entire mod list works together perfectly. It's mostly just a list of mods that I've enjoyed using. Um, I'm not sure if I've used all of them together, but I just... I don't want to create five different mod lists. I just want to kind of have it all in one place. Um, so that folks can see it. And just mods that are generally good, but I'll try to keep them updated. I think it does. Uh, assuming that's what we're in right now. If so, then probably yes. Mm, I think that's pretty much the rest of the island. Uh, the rest we could probably take out with just the shotgun shells, but I think it would be entirely plausible to clear out this island. It took us long enough, but that one tip about pausing when you uh, loot just kind of changed my entire fortune here. There's so many maps where you just, you find yourself running at breakneck speeds and it's such a pain to loot because you can never stand still sit next to something for long enough. I can't believe I never knew that, so thank you for that. This was damn good. Rack that. Give me the satisfaction. There we go. Nice. All right. Well, I think we are going to call it there. It's been a... Uh, uh, we... Yeah, my brain's kind of turning to mush.